I swear to you. Yeah. Mid piss, I, I saw everything go dark. Hey, what? I swear to God, and I nearly got deaded off mid piss, fam. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> I, swear, <laughs> I swear to you, fam. Mid piss. Imagine just blacking out mid piss. That'd be funny. You just be like, "Psst," and it was like. That's some fountain, fam. Fountain, fam. Trust me. That's a golden shine. <laughs> They're all fucked. They're all fucked. <laughs> Today is the birthday special, fam. What do you mean? What does that even mean? Birthday, birthday special. Kyojin turned 45 today. 45? I'm joking. Turned 25. 25. Really, let's introduce ourselves first. Okay, so it's your boy Kyojin. <laughs> Boy A B, you know what I'm saying? The drip father. You <laughs> hit me. It's not the birthday special. It is the birthday special. Shut up, man. Kyojin turned 25 today. I did, but I don't know why you got big dial like, like that. What do you mean? What, 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 what age should I say? I don't know. 55. Like it, d- it, d- it depends, in it. Who Come. I'm talking to. How how old is Ron Jeremy? That's Ron Jeremy. Kind of sus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you lie about your age. You need to talk to different people. Yeah. What, like, what do you elaborate? When I talk to like when I was um. In sixth form, and I had to repeat it, yeah? Like all of us did. <laughs> he didn't. Oh, you didn't. Uh, we all had to repeat a year of A-levels in it, me and you. And when I did that, I convinced all my aunties that I was still 17 at the end of the two years. What the fuck? Because I'm not going to let them know I failed a year, fam. This one is coming like Cash Tastic. Cash Tastic was 19 for like six years, fam. As Edward Scissorhands. Nah, but yeah, I just, I don't want people to know that. Like, I don't want my aunties to know that I flopped like that. So I just convinced people I was 17. It's gone. Yeah. It's gone. I'm going to do that this year as well, actually, because this birthday don't count. Oh, yeah. So you're 24. We're, 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 we're in a pandemic, guys. You think I'm going to count a pandemic birthday? Yeah, it's, it's, it's one year in of everyone's life. life. Yeah. Like, I feel like we just make it a rule. Yeah, 24 again, isn't it? We make it a rule that any birthday that take like, takes place in a pandemic, we just don't count. I think it makes sense. That means everyone here is 24. Yeah. Because my birthday was before, pre pandemic. Was it? Yeah, to February. Oh, your birthday's in like two months, isn't it? I remember your birthday, you know? Go on. Always. I always remember, because you know what it is, yeah? This guy's birthday used to be my iPod Touch lock screen, like, password. <laughs> That's gay, <laughs> fam. Oh, it's 0602, isn't it? Yeah. But do you know why, though? Because like, I- when, when we were in like six for me, yeah? Like five years ago, whatever. Yeah. And then on your birthday, the, that time at school was the day that, like, I asked my ex out. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I remember so that. So it was just a coincidence. Like, I asked my ex out, yeah, and then that same night we all went to like his house for like your birthday, and we got pizza. Do you remember? I don't remember that. Is it? Yeah, yeah. And that's why I just I just put it as 0602 because you know like you know when you're gonna have a girl, they might test you on this stuff in it. So you need a way to remember. So I just so changed my name. Mine is my birthday as a <laughs> as a cheat code. Yeah. You're a mess. This is why you're single. That's true. That's true. This I saw this we all are. How long did the relationship last? Uh, six months, maybe. Six months? Yeah. That's not a relationship. That's the longest relationship I've been in. That's the only relationship you've ever been in. That's true. That's very true. Six months, I, you know. I keep it That's not even a link. <laughs> I keep it. That's a... Uh, <laughs> you did a pass probation on that. <laughs> Man got put on a temporary contract, fam. What about you guys? What, my longest relationship? No, no. I ain't got I ain't, I ain't got time like that, man. Yeah, I'm single for so long, like everything I do is just normal. It's just life, yeah. That's fam. true. That's true. Yeah. I just live life, fam. That's very true. But yeah, I don't know. Twenty five. They say it's like a quarter life, but surely we're gonna die before hundred. I, I want to live to. I, I am not trying to die. Before hundred, though. I don't care, fam. Would you, would, to be honest, after you, after yeah? after you like sixty, you're just waiting to die, fam. Yeah, you're not you, doing. Would nothing. you want to be like a you know them vegetable like not know, that sounds kind of you're insensitive, isn't it? Say nothing. But like you so know, you're trying the, to get the pod cancelled in the seventh episode. No, but you know like the really old. No, people, but that's like, what you're trying you know, to do. You know, if you get to like hundred or hundred and twenty, yeah, all that stuff, yeah. You, you're not. There's no quality of life there, no. But do, do you yeah. know how many generations of family you'll see, fam? That's fuck you, them kids. I don't see them. You're definitely your memory is gone. Do you know what I mean? You just yeah, you just there uh, chilling instead of like looking after the kids, they're looking after you. you know? I want to get assassinated by the government, fam. That's that's the way I want to die, fam. If I ever, if I ever, if there's like a way we could choose your death, I want to get assassinated by the government. Are you listening to yourself? That's fam? that's a good way to go off. That's what I want to get assassinated. At like forty, by the at like forty, fifty, when I've achieved everything and I've seen. Why, that why would the government assassinate you? For what reason? I've got a, I've got a big mouth, fam. <laughs> a big mouth and a lot of courage. That's. So, you, so, you, so you want the government to like just head top me, Lalo? What do you? What do you? You're also 25 in it. Yeah. What do you think about being 20? What is it like being 25 for like the kids out here, like AB? I'm only two months younger than you. 
Yeah, Is it? I'm two months younger than you, bro. Yeah, what's it, what's it like being 25? It's not different. That's <laughs> <laughs> the same. Like, you know. Do you know I think I one thing? Kind of, I can kind of see 30 like, coming soon. Yeah. yeah. That's the only Five years. Why would you say that, bro? That's five years, sir. Bro, with five years, man, I'm going to be 30. Because nah, I kind of deep it. Like, five years ago, we were 20. Mm. And, like, 20 was not long ago. Yeah. Yeah. Five that. years, the next five years got even quicker than that previous five years. And then next thing you know, like, this guy's best scary, you know? <laughs> That's fucked. Big for you. I think the, the one thing I learned from like this year, or like my birthday this year, was like, obviously, when I when I looked at it last year. You I, didn't even do nothing. What do you mean your birthday this year? You, just, you didn't do nothing today, fam. I'm at work right now. This, this is what, this is a hobby, fam. This is work. This is but anyway, but let me tell you. We cut a che- cheesecake for Kyojin, by the way, and the picture will be in right now. Why? The guy was taking pictures of me while I was eating food. And that picture would be in right now? You know, last year, yeah, they bought me cake here and they started feeding me the cake like I was a white, like a, a, a bride. It should, be a, it should be an a annual tradition. Now. It should not. Especially not in COVID times. Because of fuck. And you're trying to have your fingers in my mouth. That, that was getting edited out. That's not the first time you had fingers in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I had your mum's fingers in my mouth. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She, she might listen to this, you know. But well, that's true. She, she might come across this. That's true, that's true. But yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, the one thing that I learned, yeah, is obviously last year when I looked at my birthday, well, I was thinking, oh, my 25th. But anyway, yeah, so what I learned, yeah, is that like, last year when I was looking at it, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But then like, obviously- What was on it? I was, I was going to get myself a watch. What watch? A Rolly? Yeah. Hey. Oh, but obviously like- You can get, you know, you can get, you can get a couple of good ones, you know, for a few bags. Because of like pandemic, my, I have to prioritise my money in other places right now, and I go look out for my family and that. Well, I brought one that. Yeah. <laughs> I run a brothel. Um, oh, your your, <laughs> your Margie's is our most popular product. <laughs> Shut up, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> but yeah, like, Cap. and then like I was gonna have like a big like thing in it. Big but, what? Um, don't worry, man. Maybe it's gonna happen next year. Big but, what? So I'm not gonna tell you. Like all, all the men will be there. Like, oh, but, like a celebration. Yeah, but then I realized, obviously, I feel like this year has taught me kind of like, oh, you have all these plans, but like you can't really plan for life. Do you know what I mean like these things just happen? You kind of—it's more about going with the flow, and and you know. Going not really. No, go. Not go, obviously. You can plan, yeah. Uh, you should plan as much as you can, but then obviously not to take it too religious, yeah. But like a lot is obviously the best of planners. Yeah. And in in that sense, you you can plan as much as you want, but life is That's gonna happen shit. either way. Do you know what I mean? And not even in not even in good or bad terms. Like just. I, I had some big plans this year. Man. What do you have planned? Well, one of the plans was to travel Southeast Asia. That's mm. the only plans that I'm gonna. Remember. Because the plans have been postponed. Oh, okay. Year, so know, they're so. still they're still in in production. Yeah, I'm gonna open up brothels. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you laughing? You're gonna be our main host. You're gonna be you're gonna be our top bitch. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. What 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 other goals did you have? What the goals did I have? That's the other thing. Like, when I thought to myself, oh, you're gonna make twenty. Sometimes, like even last night, I was thinking to myself, oh, yo, I'm I'm twenty five. And what have I got to show for it? Do you get, do you get I, what I mean, though? I was, do you know? Do you know how many times I've said that this month? Like to, to, about me? No, about me. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking like this guy's just speaking about me, thinking, lie. "Yo, Kyoji's birthday is coming up. What was he achieved? No, <laughs> Twenty five no. years." No, but then you can think of it like this way: like you put, you got your degree. Mm. Like that's why. Why? Why are you being at my moves like that? Who cares, bro? Joking, you got your degree. Like, carry I'm, carry I'm saying, like, do you know what I'm saying? You got your degree. No, hundred percent. You still got. You still held a job. Like yeah, everyone here held a job for our thing. Yeah, yeah free pandemic. Um, we made it to the end of the year, fam. Yeah, to be honest, a yeah. lot of man didn't make it to the end of the year, fam. Like obviously, so what happens is like obviously you go on Instagram, you go on like LinkedIn, Facebook, yeah, and you look at like I'm gonna bait names on it, but there's people from our year that are doing like mad things, and you're like, oh, what am I doing? But then at the same time, yeah, I feel like who cares? I feel like through like various avenues in it, like therapy and just like life in general, I've kind of taught myself to like think kinder towards myself. Does that make sense? As in, be, like, more, be more thing on you, like be more lenient on myself. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, if I, if you give an example, like even this thing, like oh, what have I achieved at twenty five? Yeah, I can think to myself, yeah, I took two years out of uni, but all the people I met during those two years are more important to me than any degree that I would have got before. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it's a full degree. Yeah, like I, I still got it in the end. Yeah, exactly. And I made more friends on the way. Do you know what I mean? You got friends? Oh, we're not friends. <laughs> he is the business partner <laughs> I saw the, I saw this meme yeah All this like picture And it was like It was like a little mini story in it Like a pro, proverb or something And it was like A proverb No Might say proverb Is it not a proverb It's a proverb 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 Same thing in it yeah. Anyway so it was like 
I think it was like a bird asking a panda, like, oh, what's more important, the journey or the destination? And the panda was like, the company is the most important thing. Mm. I was like, oh, that's kind of mad, you know? That's kind of mad, man. Yeah. So would you say you're in good company? Yeah, I would say I'm in good company. Like, I think especially the last two years or so, I felt like closer to my friends, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I feel like my friends are very important to me. That's why, that's another thing, you know, like... You go on Twitter and stuff, yeah. I feel like I'm going off a different tangent here. Yeah, no. But like you go on Twitter and stuff, and there's all these people that are like, oh, they make their personality as not having friends. Do you know what I mean? Or like cutting people off, or like that's so yeah, like oh like, yeah, like if this happened to me, oh, oh I'll never forget. Or like, Shut the or, fuck or like, out, oh, people use the they'll be like, oh, people use the word friend too loosely. You're my associate. I'm like, bro, if someone's my if I like someone and I hang out with them from now and then, they're my friend. I don't care if yeah, yeah. like if I don't like, chill with since them. Since when did not having friends been be cool, so cool? Do you know what I mean? Fam, I swear, it's like, totally bro, true. in high school, everyone was competing to be the most popular kid, fam. Like, having the most friends on Facebook and stuff. And obviously, yeah, that yeah. is toxic as well. Like, po- popularity contests are dumb as well. Yeah, but it's just... Like, but at the same time, like, stop labelling things yeah. when you're a grown man, do you know what I mean? Or a grown woman. Like, at, that, at this point... You've got to like me in people, fam. Yeah, we should just be like, oh, I like the people I'm with. Do you know what's funny, though? Like, the way... In, okay, I'm not going to hold up at my age, yeah, because it's very deep. What do you mean? We literally just said yeah, I'm 25, yeah, you're 24. Yeah, yeah. Fam. Hopefully, the people that I lied, my, lied to my, my age about they don't listen to this podcast. <laughs> um, There's probably some fair year olds thinking that you're you're 35 right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, Double. I swear. I, see, I, I, yeah. I swear. Like five years ago, he, he told me it was 25. I lie. Um, the only thing is, man, yeah. I like no matter like no matter how many people you meet, yeah. Yeah. There's always like a f- there's always like a handful of things that that will connect you like that you have in common. But like, do you, know what I'm, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, all, cool, all of us are going to have a lot of things in common because we're all from the same area now. Yeah. yeah. But I'd, I, I would have never thought that I have something in common. Like, I could relate to someone so much here yeah, that lives in fucking, like, Luton. Okay. Like, do you know what I'm saying? No, elaborate. I'm kind of kind of lost. I feel like I kind of get it, but I feel like you need to go more in detail. Yeah, but I don't know how to. <laughs> do you have examples of other than the Luton thing? No, we, look here. Yeah. Uh, so you so meet, look, you, meet, you, meet, you meet from someone from like cool, Luton, put, yeah? put it this way, yeah. Yeah. So I'm bare tight, yeah, mm-hmm. with with this Bengali guy. Actually, not. You have this, other Bengali friends. Yeah, there's, well, there's like a billion of you here. Well, there's there's no escaping you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. So I look, mm-hmm. so I'm cool with this guy, yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I went to his yard in E, didn't I, yeah? Yeah. And I met his family. Yeah. yeah. But bro, I spoke to every single member of his family, like yeah. the. The, the guys obviously yeah, yeah and like they were just like they were like they were like manda but they were all from all around they were like from fucking east Luton and yeah do you know what I'm saying yeah I forgot where I was going with this I can't you said you were saying like we have something in common or whatever yeah with a lot of people don't you think that's a that's a beautiful thing fam yeah ah shut up man I kind of get what you mean I, you know what I'm saying I, I, I'm not saying I, it I I'm not, mean, like, I'm not saying way. how I'm thinking it I kind of get in a different way though. I, I like I like the fact that like for example, you know when you go to work here, yeah? because you know in high school it's more like you chill with the people that do the stuff you do. Like for example, if it's like kicking ball, you chill with the people that kick ball. Well, high school everyone just everyone just. Or or you or you chill with the people who feel like are uh, are the people that you need to chill with. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But when you get into uh, there's so many people at work here, yeah? I think I think to myself I'm sitting with them I'm having a nice time and stuff here, yeah? and I'm thinking we would have hated each other in high school because I would have been cussing you. And you would have been the quiet one, yeah. but like you're actually a cool guy. Actually, yeah, do you know what I mean, I well, you're that, a cool yeah. girl. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, that's no, I, hate, I, I see that a lot of a lot of people. Yeah, and I see, like, I see like the people that go uni and they change their personality and that. Yeah, mm. I see people like grilling them like on thing, like on social media. But it's like, oh, it's the best think, time to reinvent yourself, fam. Yeah. Bro, I'm thinking, but who gives a fuck? Like, yeah. so if someone's a neek in high school, do you know? What are they supposed to be a neek for the rest of their life? Do you know? What it is it's, it's it's the people. The people that say that, that peaked in high school, are that they peaked in high school, and they don't have control over other people anymore when they go to uni. They're like, "All oh, right, why is that guy doing more at uni?" And I'm not. No, it's not even that. It's like they're not popping. Like no one. Yeah, there's like, a, there's like, another guy who's because they think they're not. Oh, that guy was a neek in high school. Why is he doing better than me? Like he's he's the and, guy in his in his uni. Yeah, like why is he doing better than me yeah. when I should when I should have been should have been me. Yeah, should have been. But like I don't know. It's it's dumb to think that way, in my opinion. I think it's dumb. Yeah. It's dumb. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I always been the guy, so I don't know how I'm <laughs> doing. Yeah, I'm joking, I'm joking. But yeah, man. So that's um, that's all. I, that's pretty much what I think about. Twenty twenty five. That was a long tangent. I can't lie. Wait, wait, I can't even remember. What I said it was yeah. It's about twenty twenty five. Just like, like you plan things and it just it, just, it doesn't come through. But it's okay. What plans do you have for from twenty five to twenty six? Oh, what do I plan from twenty five to twenty six? 
There's only like two year gap then. It's like there's not much you can do in terms of making huge steps. But a li- baby back steps, isn't it? Goals. Yeah, yeah. You can back to, um, I don't know, man. Like, still early in life. Maybe start a family. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys laughing? Mine went. It's still early in life. <laughs> start not- a family. <laughs> I, feel, yeah. I think now is like a, a good time to travel the world. Isn't it? Like, yeah. yeah. Like when it, when you actually do end up getting married and starting a family and then like your time is a lot limited. You, you don't have that um, freedom. You know, in terms of that, yeah. Like let's say starting a family and stuff. I feel like we, we're quite, obviously growing up in this era, we have like quite a modern outset, like out, uh, mindset to things, you know. So I think to myself like, oh, I want to use my 20s to like focus on my career. But I like, also experience life, like travel, do things with my friends. And I don't really want to think about like Man said a, I want to travel, yeah. You... Shut up, man. Shut up. Stop going back to old old podcasts, yeah. Go on. I bring up the same point go every on. week, fam. Go on. I'm go joking, on. I'm joking. Don't touch my lips. <laughs> hey, don't do that, man. <laughs> what was I going to say? So like, yeah, so you know, like you have that mindset of like, I, I don't want to settle right now because I don't want like... You want to settle right like, now. Like when I was younger, I wanted to settle early in it. Yeah. Because like, I just want kids, blah, 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 be like happy in life. But I just that's, wanted to be. No, not because okay. of that. Not because of that. <laughs> So yeah, what was the same? So like we have that mindset of that I want to experience life, travel. I don't want kids to get in the way. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like the only reason, one of the only reasons why we thought having kids was like such a goal before is because that's the only kind of pathway that we saw from our parents. Do you know what I mean? Because they all got married young. Their, their life literally went school, then family in it yeah. for our parents. So we kind of saw that as well growing up. But now I just feel like I don't want to in it. Like I want to live my life in my 20s and maybe get married like late 20s, my 30s in it. 30s? Like early phase. Very early phase, isn't it? I want to get married in four years, man. That's like a 28. I, yeah, 28. That's come. 20, 20, like 20 years when I start thinking about like yeah. seriously certain And I want to have a you by 25. And if I don't... <laughs> by 25? Like, oh, sorry. By 29, <laughs> sorry. I'm bugging. <laughs> <laughs> um, this guy wants his like son to be a spectator for the first four years, um, you know? Fucking... Um, <laughs> no, nah, by 29. Even like Drake, you know? Adonis in the dark like, and everything. Adonis, I like. Nah, but I was going to say, but then don't you worry, yeah? That like, uh, for me, uh, honestly, I'm not going to lie. Preferably, I'd want to marry an Asian girl. I'm not going to lie. You want to marry an A brown girl, innit? Because I'm brown. I feel like the culture would like mesh well, all that stuff. But then you feel, I feel like sometimes to myself, yeah, that like if I wait till I'm older, all the like <laughs> the pen girls are going to be, like they'll be forced into getting married. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, really is that not like a, is that not like a worry? Cousin, like cousin, they'll all be forced something. into getting married. And also, I feel like Asians have this mindset of like, oh, that guy's not married at 30 Like there must be Something wrong with him yeah. When really it was just a choice Like I wanted to live my life At 30 he's young For man. career and stuff like that Because if you think about it If you're 30 And say you have a ute In a year or two years yeah. you, When the ute is 10 You'd be like 40 to 40 Yeah you'd be like, That's still quite yeah. young If you look after yourself But then that's that's the thing Like I feel like Because it, Sometimes it, only, it feels like Only you're on that wavelength And all the girls out there aren't But then so again all yeah, be gone, When I mean? the ute is 20 yeah. You'd be 50 That's calm man So you'd be quite old In your ute's graduation 50 is not that old. Bro. If you look after yourself, I'm not saying I look after myself. I'm, I'll be gone before 50. <laughs> this is coming like a therapy session, fam. It is coming like a therapy session. Also, I saw this tweet, yeah? Yeah. Um, that men don't go to therapy. <clears throat> they just stop podcast. So. Yeah, I think I, I, I tag you guys in that. Yeah. Did you tag me? I don't think you tagged I me. I tagged, because you don't have a Twitter account, fam. Oh, yeah, I don't. I tagged the Titan Talk podcast and Clanwood as well. And uh, Alaska But yeah Alaska couldn't be here Would you, would you say that's true? What? Men don't go therapy They just start Not podcasting Not really Because we, we ain't spoke about Like mental health and that, Like on the podcast We spoke I, about everything I feel like We spoke we, about everything else We can go into it But I feel like A long long one is needed yeah, Like a, a mental Men's mental health episode only Oh that was I wanted that to be the topic This week But I feel like we, But we're missing some input mission. From Alaska yeah. And we need we, I feel like we need to clear the schedule And be like This is all we're going to talk about For this week yeah. And we can go into it A little bit now What that tweet? Yeah, I feel like it's therapy can come in different forms, fam. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Like going to, going to gym is some people's therapy. I have, I have I have a question. Well, maybe I don't know if it's a question, but like a statement. Yeah, do you think sometimes that's a question? <laughs> yeah, do you think sometimes girls like they try and force you to open up here just so they can play therapist with you, or they can be like, I'm the one who got him to me. open no, up. They, no one's done it with me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't I don't talk to anyone like that. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. But I've seen it, like what I've seen, like I've seen it happen to my brethren, fam. I feel like I've like seen, it. I've seen a girl, yeah, force my brethren to go to therapy when he didn't even need it. <laughs> she was saying that my brethren, yeah, he was like he had like anger issues and that. 
Bear in mind, both of you guys have seen this guy. He comes to my birthdays. Like, you've seen him in moves. Mm-hmm. Um, he's like, oh, yeah, he's got anger issues. Uh, you're passive aggressive. Where you uh, be, you be listening to this as well. Shout out, <laughs> my man. Yeah, uh, your ex is a bitch. Um, <laughs> what the hell? So she was like, yeah, like, oh yeah, you need to go therapy. You need to go therapy. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And this daycare, yeah, mm-hmm. this no no balls having cunt was actually looking for therapists, fam. No, to be honest, yeah, because I've been therapy in it. For like, is a bit is a bit too soon to say that on on on. It is what is in it. We just need to start. We need to start normalizing it. But for me, I've been in it, and I feel like well, you know, when you go therapy, yeah. How long did you go therapy for? How long did I go therapy for? Um, it was eight weeks. More. How do you know that? Don't worry, how no. It was eight weeks. I, I think. know it was eight weeks. <laughs> yeah, I went for eight weeks. Man, start looking at the ceiling. Like, say the answers on the, on the wall or something. <laughs> I'm trying to think to myself in it, but yeah, it's time to start normalizing. So anyway. Yeah, I went for eight weeks. And I feel like when you go there, you realise how much the people around you also need therapy. Oh, so you see, you see the flaws in other people's... Yeah, but like, it's, it's like, because sometimes you'll be talking about experiences and you'll be like, oh, this is how my so-and-so reacted to the situation. This is how this person reacted to the situation. And then the therapist would be like, okay, so from their point of view, this is what they're going through. And you're like, oh, raw oh, shit. Like, maybe they need it too. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I feel like if it was plausible, if it was like accessible to everyone, it would be really good. It is accessible to everyone. Yeah. No, but as in like readily accessible to everyone. Because I, I had to go to a doctor's and like, kind of like, I don't want to go too much into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, logistics. Yeah, I had to like, there had to be certain circumstances for me to get that free therapy, do you know what I mean? For eight weeks. And to be honest, I, I didn't go counseling. I went to um, CBT. I would recommend CBT. What was that? A certain Cog- behavioral therapy. Cognitive, cognitive behavioral therapy. Behavior. Yeah. And the thing I liked about that is that we don't have to talk about my problems too much, if that makes sense. Isn't that the whole point of therapy? No, because then we would go into like, Deep childhood issues and shit like that, and that's so? what I, that's why I wouldn't want to talk about it because the one, the one I went to instead, yeah, is like you you talk about how your week went and all that stuff, but they give you like the tools to like deal with shit. So I think like for me personally, the way I see it, is counseling is like talking about things that already happened in it, whereas cognitive behavior therapy so how you approach gives you the tool to like approach like after my therapy, I could be like, yo, I know how to deal with this, so it's not that bad. Like what I was saying before is like um, I could look I could look at my situation and be like, oh. All these people my age are lawyers, da da da. All that stuff, married, have kids, and I can be like, "Raw, George, you suck." Do you know what I mean? I, that's what I could say, yeah, yeah. and it would be real, and it wouldn't be wrong. It wouldn't be false. It wouldn't be a lie, or I could just choose to myself, choose to say to myself, like, "Yo, look at all you've accomplished, even though you were going through these hard times." Exactly. That's why I, mean? I said. That's that's why I said the degree thing. <clears throat> the what thing? The, the when I, when he talked spoke about when he said that, and I said, "Yeah, but you you got a degree." Yeah. Um, yeah. Cause I remember, I remember, I remember what he said. That. He said that in front of the yard. Do you remember after the walk? Oh, we were walking. When was this? It was bruv. It was when you, I think it was towards the end of your therapy sessions. Okay. And he said that. He said your therapy said that. Like instead of looking at it like this way, you should yeah. look at it like that. Like looking a different way. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. Let me drop some knowledge for you guys, innit? <laughs> Go on. It's like a, it's with a graphic in it, but like there's a there's a triangle, yeah, and at the top top of the triangle goes. You put thoughts in it, so that's the first thing that happens. It's what you think in it. So this is no, no, my and Lando's therapy session. Might as well be in it. They, we, we want the CBT. As, as they said, we don't go to therapy, we go to podcasts. So we might, you know, we might as well do what, what they said we do in it. I don't need therapy. So like, let's say at the, at the top of the triangle, there's feelings in it. So that's just how you feel. So let's say if you're a uni student, one day you wake up and you're feeling, I, I feel a bit of shit, I don't want to go to uni in it. No, I, you're feeling shit. That's the first feeling in it. Then your thought, oh, I remember this. Your thought is the next part, which you think to yourself, oh, I don't feel so good. I'm not going to go to uni in it. So then your action is you stay in bed and you don't go uni. Yeah. And then because you don't, it goes back to the top where it says feeling, the triangle in it. Because you didn't go uni, you're like, oh shit, why didn't I go uni? I, I wasted a whole lecture. Mm. And then you think, and then you start thinking to yourself, I'm kind of shit in it. Like I might as well spend the whole day doing nothing. You keep repeating that triangle to yourself and like a cycle thing. You can't change the top part. You can't change feelings because that's something natural. You feel what you feel in it. So let's say you're feeling shit about yourself. If you're not feeling good to go to uni. So your your thought is the first thing that you can change. So instead of thinking I'm not feeling good, I'm uh, I don't want to go uni, you can start thinking to yourself, even though I'm not feeling good, I think I'll feel better if I go uni, or like this lecture is important. Let me just try and make it anyway on time. So then your action will be influenced by your your um what you thought rather than how you're feeling, and then because you've done the action afterwards, you'll start feeling like oh shit, you know, I feel good about myself because I I actually did it. I mean, and then you start to think to yourself, yo, I'm actually doing quite well today. Mm. And then 
the actions will like roll on. Do you know what I mean like you will do yeah, more good things? Will change your feelings because it's like kind of like a. If you think about it, the feeling, it's kind of like a drug in it. Mm. If you do more things that make you feel sad, you're just going to keep going in that direction. If you force yourself to do things that make you feel good, you're going to be like, yo, I want to feel good again. So let me do what I did last time. Or let me do this this to make myself feel good. What are the type of things that you've done that force yourself to change how you felt? What kind of things that I did to make myself change? To be honest, it's a hard one because it's like a situation by situation. Do you know what I mean? Like in terms of, I don't know. You know? When did you realize that you needed to go therapy? <laughs> I don't know we're going this deep into it. It's just a question. <laughs> also, you don't you don't have to make the edit if you don't, don't want it. No, nah, I think it's better left out. I don't know. I know, as in at like, what age? I'm not saying what happened. Oh, what like, age? How, lo- how long before you actually went to therapy? Like, I'm not saying this happened, then I was like, oh, fuck, I need to go to therapy. Like, I'm not, I'm, that's, that's too much. Yeah, I feel like that's too much. Save it for the book in 10 years. <laughs> um, the Titan book will be out in 10 years. It was like during my... Uh, Second year of uni? No, third year of uni. Like, not my third year of uni, but like my final year of uni. So, what? Yeah. The maths don't add up, fam. Why? So, it was the. So, you. It's technically my fourth, final, my so fourth year of uni, but my, it was third year, if that makes sense. Because I dropped out in first year, then I did a one, two, three. I did half of third year. Okay. And then, like, through like half of third year, I was like, bro, like, this is too much in it. Mm. Like, I need to take time, some time off. And other things were happening in my life at the same time, like at work. And just in life in general So I was like Yo like This is this isn't normal To feel or think this way All the time innit What are the type of things You were thinking I can't go into that Yeah so like Yeah Top, top two. Yeah yeah So I don't want I can't really go into that Because it could kind of make English you know? Yeah but like I was thinking that I was thinking like It's not normal to like To think or feel this way So I need to go to the doctor And like Be like yo I'm just I'm, I'm feeling this way I'm thinking this way So I went to the doctor You know one thing I was worried about Yeah Is my doctor's Muslim so I was thinking to myself, he's not gonna get. It, do you know what I mean? He's gonna be like, "Why are you praying and all that stuff in it?" Are you praying? I, not, not really. I'm not gonna lie. Kind of fell off in it in, in that that instance. Um, <laughs> but it's not because of that in it. I'm not, I'm not laughing because <laughs> you know why I'm Still laughing. You said it, yeah, you, <laughs> yeah. So I went to the doctor. I'm thinking like he's not gonna get in it. But alhamdulillah, he did get it. He was like, "Here's some medicine, um, and I, and I'll and I'll book you in for like therapy in it." Did you take it? Um, I asked everyone, should I take it? Blah, 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 that stuff. And Laska is quite knowledgeable about that stuff, in it? And he was like, if you really, really feel like you need it, take it. Then I was going to take it. But then I spoke to someone else who had, who had taken it in the past, in it? And they said like, oh, maybe see how the therapy goes first. And then if you need it, take it after that. Um, yeah. So I just... I just wasn't I, that me? I said that. No, it wasn't you. I was, I was just scrolling past inside and I saw men's uh, mental health should be taken more seriously. I have something to say about that, you know. Sorry? I have something to say about that. Go on. Men's mental health, yeah. Because, you know, when you go in... Fuck it, we might as well just go into mental health right now, you know. Fuck it, yeah. Fuck it, you know, we're in, yeah. we're in this, yeah. But... That's that, what I, should have been it, you fat bitch. <laughs> it well. I saw this, I saw this, um, this, this tweet in it. And it was like... It was on World... It was an International Men's Day or something like that. Mental, yeah, yeah, yeah. So to like think about recently, men's mental health, yeah, very recently. And I saw a, a girl tweet, a thread on the things, problems that men go that are exclusive to men. Like mental health terms, in it, and I was expecting when I opened that thread, it's there's going to be nothing with stars on the side. Like it's going to say nothing, yeah, mention yeah. or kill themselves, in it. Because yeah, yeah. that's how, I, like, that's how the internet has made me like think about men. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. when you go on Twitter, people are like, uh, men. I get why people say men are trash, yeah, and I agree with that sentiment in those terms, in it. I don't agree with that. <laughs> I agree with it in those no. terms, in it. But when it comes to men's, men's mental health, I feel like people are very, very performative because. If you see when it comes to mental health, men's mental health week or anything, or their day or anything, yeah, what do you guys see? You guys see stats of how many men kill themselves. Do you see anything after that? All they do to is tell honest, you how many of you kill yourselves. To be honest, yeah, I'll be honest, yeah. See, even like for women as well, yeah, yeah. And I tell you why, yeah. Women's mental health is spoken up about a lot more than men's mental health, yeah. That's a fact, yeah. Mm-hmm. But you see things that affect um like a woman's mental health, yeah. Okay, I can't, I can't really explain it. So let me give an example. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So cool. Someone will say, yeah, man and woman will be like, cool. Oh yeah, women's mental health, like mental health in general should be like spoken about a little more. Like it should be taken more seriously, yeah. But then they, they will go out and just comment like a madness on someone's post, Insta post or someone's picture be like, oh, look at her nose or yeah, look at, look at, look at, oh, she's fat or look at the clothes she's wearing. Like body shaming her. Yeah. Like putting it, basically putting the woman down. Yeah, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. If you don't like what someone's wearing or how someone would look, don't comment, fam. I agree. So what? So imagine, yeah. Imagine like someone's like, <coughs> someone says something about a girl and it makes it to one of these Insta meme pages, yeah. Yeah. And look at the comments and everyone's just laughing, 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 laughing. 100%. Man. Bro, imagine this woman head tops herself. Man. To be honest, yeah. I, I want to I make a call back to the episode that didn't get released. This is one of the things we it's spoke about. The, yeah. We spoke about like all these Instagram meme pages. And they take videos out of context and then put them onto... Context, yeah. Context, sorry. I got a lisp in it. So they take videos out of context and they put them onto like all these pages. And then they let all these people that have no face on their profile just comment whatever they want. And that's another thing I hate, you know, when people have no face on, on social media yeah, and they want to say whatever they want to say. Like, landlord. landlord. <laughs> that's, that's about... That's, yeah, that's basically me on Twitter. <laughs> now, but go on. What are you saying? But yeah, that's what I said. Bro, I think, like, bro, all about. this, all like these people, like all this, po- this posts and shit, it's all bullshit, fam. Bro, I saw the stat, yeah? Mm-hmm. See Blackout Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah? I think it's like 25 million people posted that Black Square on the Insta, yeah? Mm-hmm. But like 2 million people only signed the petitions or like donated to like a thing, a charity. Yeah. Bro, I don't think, I don't think you heard what I said, bro. Yeah, you said 25, 25 people posting the thing and only 2 million people actually yeah. do something proactive. Do you know how fucked that is, fam? It's very tapped. Some people still got the thing on the on the Insta page, you know, fam. <laughs> but yeah, we'll talk about mental health. Yeah. I don't know, man. There's two ways you could look about it. Think of it, yeah. Yeah. You can think of it as like you can make a joke and it's just just a joke. Yeah. And it should be taken as a joke. Okay. Or you could you could think of it as it's a, it's meant to be a joke, but you need to think of it. You could think you should think of the way that it's going to be perceived by the recipient. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Kind of. So, cause so say like someone, like say like I make a joke about someone, yeah. Mm-hmm. But everyone knows I'm not. Like, I'm, I'm not serious, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? So if I say something, okay, it's not going to be taken serious by anyone. Like do you know what I'm saying? They'll they'll write off. Oh, he's just being an idiot. Uh, yeah. So like, they'll joking. write they'll write off what I say as a joke because they know me personally. Innit? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if I didn't have like a sense of so like self awareness or whatever, yeah, yeah, I would go into Twitter and make these jokes and think other people would think, oh yeah, it's just a joke. Yeah. Do you understand know what I'm saying? But whereas the person that I'm making a joke about, mm-hmm. they won't know. Like they just they just see it as an attack. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But that I think that is like see that because you see that a lot on social media, like people attacking people, making these jokes, filming people and shit. Like yeah. do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That can't really like comes into play in someone's mental health. Fam. I agree. Like life goes life is much more than a meme page or like a meme video. Fam. Do you know what I'm saying? But a lot of these, even something small, yeah, as like filming a fed, yeah, just I was saying like oink oink. Like, do you know what I'm saying? It's funny, isn't it? Because no, it's funny to us. Hundred percent, I get what you but mean. But imagine man. you're the fed. Because a hundred percent, I know what you mean. Because obviously, you hate that institution. Yeah, you hate the institutional racism and stuff. But, yeah, but, but that let me one, stop you. That let me one stop person you. still has like. Let me stop family. you there. Yeah, a lot of these youths that's filming feds have no reason to hate police. I agree. They have no reason to help you hate, hate police, fam. So why like a, they're just filming there because they're probably speeding yeah, or do you know what I'm saying? Or, like or they, they just got they, like they'll, they'll look better on Snapchat. Yeah, fam. They have no reason to hate police anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? They're yeah. just agile people out there who's getting discriminated by police. Yeah. Yeah. And another note on that, imagine you waking up, yeah, bro, you just want to go out there and make a living, fam. Yeah. Or, like mo- like most of these police, they just want to go there, like, or whatever. If you go into whatever, like a GP, yeah. where wh- whoever wants to make this little Mean videos, yeah, yeah, bro. All these people are doing and also is making they, a living, fam. And also, they're not even aware that this thing is on out there. On the do you get what I'm saying? Which but imagine dumb. they do, fam. Imagine it comes out. Like, oh yeah, I saw your thing. Like imagine someone goes to the same like t- like like I don't know, same as or whatever. Yeah, I see like brother working there. Yeah, and they're like, oh, further I saw this one, um, this one guy, he was an X Factor. Yeah, the judges must have pardoned him in it. Mm. So he's like, oh yeah. Don't worry, in five years' time or ten years' time, we'll see who's laughing. Is it the Indian brother? Yeah, and yeah. then he's working in Asda, sign. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, that's, that's, that's peak, man. Like, that's a vile fan. Because you know the other thing about that, yeah? You know, like um, Pop Idol and X Factor stuff, you know? You know the funny ones, you know? They invite them on, you know? They're like, they're heavily vetted, isn't it? Like, they go through like an audition process before it comes onto TV mm. and they're told to like make a joke out of themselves. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, like, to get attacked for that, bro, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, the worst thing, no, <laughs> but the worst thing is, yeah, my mama took a picture with him, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know for a fact that my man didn't ask him. He's like, oh yeah, oh, oh, bro, I'm going to make a meme out of you, you know? Yeah. It reminds he just said, of, yo, I remember you. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It reminds me of, you. remember that guy, that Manchester fan? 
And he's like, give it gigs to the end of the season. What was that guy, the bold the brother? The Moise. Yeah, yeah Moise. Yeah. He, got, he, got, he got the job Moise. on technicality. You're a waste of time. Yeah. You're a fool. Yeah. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Yeah. That was funny bro. Yeah I'm but, but he, funny. he got He got um, Someone recorded him working Like at a shop Like at his 9 to 5 job in it And it's like Bro do you not realise This guy has a life Outside of social media Exactly Why are you gonna pull up on him And like Show that to the world Do you know what I mean That's actually one of my fears You know like, That's why I didn't want to Do the video thing you were the one who wanted to see the video. I didn't want to. Me and Lando, the camera shy was. No, but I didn't want to. But it's a lot. I don't want to do the video. Get exposure, fam. That's true. That's true. I'm trying to get some bread of this. You know, you think this? You think this thing is cheap? All right, we say this every week. You know, sooner or later, people gonna be like, "Did they have any content, or did they talk about how much money they want?" Nah, but yeah, you know, one other thing, yeah. You see, so like with men's mental health, innit? That that thread was actually good because the girl actually posted like reasons why men go through. Go through certain what things in it. Reasons? I feel like as Asian guys, yeah, I think all of us, even including landlord, yeah, are the, landlord, yeah, he ain't here, not landlord, Alaska, no, he ain't yeah. here, but we're all like the only guy, the only boy in our family, innit? Oh, shit. oh yeah, that's actually that. true. We're all the only boy, yeah, and I don't think people realize the amount of pressure there is when it comes to financial responsibility. Like from young, yeah, you are taught that when like your dad passed away or whatever, yeah, you're gonna be the man of the house. And this is why you need to get a good job. This is why you need to like provide for the rest of the family and stuff like that. I don't think people realize how much pressure that is on like your mental health. Do you know what I mean? Because your life is literally, when you go to school, it's just like, if you're not like make on your way to getting like a job that's making bank, what, like what is your purpose for being alive? At some points, do you know what I mean? No, and, I hate you. And now that I'm saying it, do you know how deep that sounds? Because it's true yes, though. Man, it's it's true. true. But imagine if I wanted to just draw or something, if I just... <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes, I just all, all I talk on a podcast for a living. I mean, look at us. What, what else are we doing? <laughs> but literally, like, because I think sometimes my family have that 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 idea that like, if you're not doing something that, that's towards making money, like, what are you doing? Because because yeah. the other thing is, I, I also look at my dad here and think like his life is orientated to making money for the family or providing for for the family or looking for the, looking after the family. You saying he hasn't got a life outside of that? No, he does. He does. Like he has, he has a lot. My dad is bait, and he has a lot of friends. Why is every Bengali that bait? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think I mean you have to be in it when you come from another country. You need to mix with the community and like yeah. start talking to them. Innit? But the other things I see, like how much how much he does for people, but then them not show the appreciation in it, and that's why I kind of like I think to myself like I never want to be in that position. I love my dad in it, but like I love your dad too. <laughs> thank you. I guess. <laughs> But like I don't want to put myself In that position Where like I'm breaking my back For people And they're not showing Appreciation just because I'm a man And that's And like That's what you're supposed to do Do you know what I mean I never want to put myself In that position where like I don't get the appreciation For what I do Because when you Like obviously I know People have shit dads in it And sometimes I hate Talking about I hate talking positively About my dad Because I like my dad a lot Yeah And obviously other people Have had it tough So I don't want to like Be like do you know what I mean? I don't want to be like, I love my dad. My dad is great. And then so, everyone... So, wait. No, you get what I mean, don't you? Kind of. Like, so time, like, I was kind of understanding what you're saying about you love your dad, but, like, what was the point coming from that? No, but then, like, so, like, I think I saw an, um, uh, there was a tweet saying, like, oh, there was a girl saying, oh, do you ever look at your dad and think, I will give an arm and a leg for you to be happy in it? Yeah. And the comments were so peak, bro. What? The Fed was like, imagine having a dad that you actually like. And like it was just like bro, like thousands and thousands of replies of people just saying, "Nah, my dad shit, my dad shit, my dad shit, my dad shit." And I think a lot of dads are shit. Yeah, there are a lot of that shit dads out there. But sometimes I think dads are underappreciated as well, just because all they know is how to make bread. They don't know how to do the emotional stuff, but it's not their fault. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, they they never got that emotional support from their family, because if take my dad for instance, yeah, at the age of like fourteen, fifteen, when we did our GCSEs or whatever, and like fifteen, sixteen. As soon, while my dad was doing his GCSEs, he was also running the shop yeah. in Bangladesh. Like he was providing for the family. Do you know what I mean? Bro, all the, all, all the, like all of like our pops here, yeah, like the man is like, yeah, I used to wake up at like three o'clock, walk to walk to this person's house, clean the house, then go to school, then come back, then go yeah. to the shop, do you know what and mean? wake up, do you know what I'm saying? Feed my mom, and then do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then here's us chatting shit on the podcast time. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like you know when my dad was nineteen, like when my dad was my age, from like nineteen to like twenty two or something, yeah. Bro, he didn't live in Bangladesh. He went to he went to Bahrain with his brother. They were they were like they were doing like, do you know like XO London like yeah, the yeah, thing. Yeah. So they would do like they were back they were backstage stuff for like exhibitions and shit like. Oh, that. Yeah. And I'm thinking like, <laughs> my par- I'm like my parents won't even let me go to the next city for uni. You know, <laughs> about that I could go to a new country in it. 
But then like then that's the only choice had some of these. Yeah, so happen. obviously they had this choice, and then it's sad to see like all these immigrant dads yeah come to UK, come to America, and then just not be appreciated by their kids because of because they didn't get the emotional support from their parents, and now they can't emotionally support us as well. Yeah. It's kind of sad when you think about. It, do you know what I mean? That's why we go here to break the cycle. I mean, I don't think there's any Asian dads listening to this. But no, as in future Asian dads. Oh, okay, you know yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What do you guys think? I think I think you're right, man. I don't know how to gauge it because you said pretty much said everything. Like, oh, I'm sorry. You said a lot. I'm sorry. I, I feel not gonna lie. I kind of feel passionate about this topic, innit? You talk about it, man. Talk I shit. I feel passionate about this topic because, like, obviously, I get there are issues that, as a man, yeah, we can never go through when it comes to like women's issues, innit? Yeah. For example. Obviously, obviously, we come from Northwest London, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, like, there's some in terms of safety, we do feel it a little bit in it. Like when you go out and stuff at night, and like people are like following you. Shit. So I'm good. A man would be. I don't <laughs> know about you, man. But, but I was good. in the car with you when we really got stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my hood. Oh yeah, it is. But it's... It was. It was still Northwest London. Yeah, it so obviously we have that, but we don't have the issue of like fearing for our safety because we're women in it. Yeah. Obviously, but I'm not like at night and shit. You know, you know the cat calling, yeah. I've been cat called before. <laughs> in the mosque. Yeah, when I'm walking to the mosque, yeah, I got my mask on it. Yeah. I got my long hair. I got wearing a thobe in it, and people shout out from their windows, fam, like when they're driving past. Dude, you saw I said you're a bad. Bitch. It's jarring. I can't lie. It's jarring. I, I feel bad for girls, in it. What is it? So the mosque for you with me. I'm kind of built like a woman, you know. <laughs> oh shit. So this actually did end up being a, a therapy episode, which is good. It's good, man. I feel like uh, we're all men. We're all close. Yeah. So I feel like uh, <coughs> a lot of men go through stuff. A lot of, you know, let me take away men. A lot of people go through. Mental health issues. In, in silence. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So I feel like um, if you've got a friend, just one friend, everyone, everyone's got at least one friend they can rely on. Really? At least a friend. Or just one person that it could be a cousin. Yeah. A sibling. Yeah, just reach out to them and start talking. Yeah. A lot of I feel like a lot of like things could be dealt with just by a conversation. Yeah, as we were saying before, stop trying to be those people that are like it's cool to not have friends. It's cool to hate everyone. Yeah, it wasn't cool in high school and it's not cool now. <laughs> All them e- is it is them emo? You see them? Oh, there's some Octavian man and I like to listen to Octavian like them kind of use, isn't it? Yeah, I I liked Octavian's music here. Yeah, I never read that. You. I just always thought he, it was weird. He came out Travis Scott in it, but like, bro, that video was, it was a hard watch, you know? Oh, uh, what one which is under the table or not? Yeah, and like, and how can you try and say like, oh, you recorded like a normal conversation? What about that video was normal, fam? Bro, he said, yeah, she I'll was you up shook for her life, and we could literally hear him saying, "I've been you up before, and that's why I'm being you up." Like he literally, he he There's told no him as well. He's you finished. Know what I mean? He's finished. But you know what is it? Is it? It's a lot of these men. Yeah, like a lot of these men. A lot of these men mm-hmm. are only a man for the girl. Do you know what I'm saying? Like they they only match up. What a match up shit only comes around when they're around the girl. Mm. When they're out on the road and that, they can't. They can't. You think like if see you see someone like Octavian, yeah, yeah, try to do all of that match up shit around around man. Yeah, they'll just slap him. But do you think that's an issue within itself? Yeah, you know when people say like that match up shit. You know what I mean. I feel no, like not that much like that. Like aggressive. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Okay. The only shit that, only, that can only run yeah. around your girl because they know that the girl's defenseless. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But when it actually comes to like man, that man you I have a problem with and that, yeah. there's is nothing. It's, quiet. it's just it's always it's always it will be on like a Twitter or they'll send like do you know yeah. what I'm saying? They'll send Next thing you know Octavian is knocking your window saying, What do you say about me? Who? Octavian. <laughs> I'll slap Octavian, fam. That skinny bastard. Nah, it pissed me off the I'll video, man. Slap him. Pissed me off. And the whole, like, uh, trying to defend Furthermore, himself. If, uh, I'm going to piss a lot of people off, yeah? If man are cancelling Octavian, they need to cancel Ambush, Dutch. I don't know what happened with Ambush. Puzzle, is it he, Ambush he, he, he assaulted uh, Ray Black. Who's Ray Black? She's a female rapper or singer or something like that. Uh-huh. She leaks uh, the thing. I think I might have saw some of that. Yeah. Must have grabbed the tail or something. As I'm, as I'm sure. It's it. It's that's literally, it's literally what he done. Oh man, I don't know how we got to Octavian, but fuck that guy, man. Fuck that guy, man. But that he, yeah, all that all that G shit, man. Drop that shit, man. Like no one's, no one's. You can't be a G for your girl, bro. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go be, go be a G for the people that you actually need to be. Let's move like you know, Frimpong. Remember, hard with the man. 
Stuff with the ladies. So you're supposed to be, fam. That's your girl, fam. You need to, you know what I'm saying? You yeah, treat, man. Give me, treat your girl. Nice, fam. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know, you know my tech there, fam. You know Why are you looking at me like that, fam? I treat you nice. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. No, I'm joking. What was he talking about? Mental health, man. What are the things that you think that helps you with your mental health? Oh, so I... Other, I, than, other than therapy. I get quite... I get some anxiety sometimes, innit? So you smoke weed? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I think that would make you, make you more anxious sometimes. I heard that... I heard that... Uh, what was it? CBD helps with anxiety. Apparently, like, yeah. If you like, put, like the oil and shit in it. Uh, but I don't do that stuff. I don't... I tried the CBD cream. Is it good? Dead. Bro, I nearly fainted. <laughs> and I, I read I read on the thing I had to How get How can you faint from cream listen, No 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 Listen listen yeah Yeah I, I put bear yeah Cause I was off the um, tra- uh, Training in it yeah? yeah Kickboxing So I put bear on my on my knee Cause yeah. I popped on my knee On my lower back in it yeah Yeah I had to get up in the middle of the night To go piss fam <laughs> Bro I Bro I swear to you Yeah Mid piss I, I saw everything go dark Hey what I swear to god I, well, lie, I saw everything go dark fam You just blacked out but I didn't black out I just saw everything go dark, but I knew in my head. Was the light? That I'm pissing. Bottom? Yeah. Okay. Of course, I'm not gonna piss in the dark. <laughs> I was thinking like, it's like, geez, it's like three o'clock in the night, fam. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? I saw everything go dark, but in my head, yeah, I was just like, blood. Like, I'm pissing. If I fall, if I, I'm not falling down now. Like, do you know what I'm saying? So I, just, I literally just washed my hands. I don't even know if I flushed the toilet, fam. I washed my hands. I don't know. I, again, I don't know if I switched off switch the light and I washed my hands, and I literally. Blew back to my my bed and I just collapsed here. Yeah. Then um, then I woke up. And I was like, raw. Like, I was actually bugging. I was like, I've never had this. This never happened to me before. Mm-hmm. I I don't think. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And I read. And I was like, it, ha- it has to be something that I've done new in it. Yeah. So I checked the CBD thing. Yeah. And he said, use lightly because it can cause uh, it could, you can cause it to be nauseous. So you didn't bother to read it before you slapped that whole thing on. I just slapped bare. I was like, yeah, it's a little cream. I CBD is gonna make my joints feel good. I'm gonna feel good. I'm gonna train tomorrow. I was rubbing it like this. I'm rubbing bare, fam. The whole whole arm rubbing bare on my knee, and I nearly got deaded off mid piss, fam. Yeah, that, I, <laughs> I, I, swear, <laughs> I swear to you, mid piss. Imagine blacking out mid piss. That'd be funny. You just be like, that. that's some fountain, fam. That's some fountain, fam. Fountain, fam. <laughs> Trust me. That's a golden shower. You know? They're all fucked. They're all fucked. <laughs> I know your search is not, fam. No, no. But yeah, go no, on. What, what but yeah that's not what I do. When, like, if I get anxiety and stuff. What do you do? Um, it, it depends, you know. <laughs> I can't hear what, what I'm saying. Xanax. Huh? Xanax. No. Nah. <laughs> I said that's only in America. No? Yeah. What do I do? That's certain things. You know, if I'm listening to fast music, yeah. Like, I'm listening to music that's with uh, like a fast BPM in it. Yeah. I would like slow it down, listen to things that are a little bit slower. Well, I turn off my music mm. completely to like just get calm myself down. If it's really like sometimes I feel really hot in it, yeah. So I'll go somewhere where it's cold. Like I'll go into my room where it's, like the heat is not on or something. Like this is how I know <laughs> you live in the same room as Harry Potter fam. Why? I said no heating in his room. No, no, because I remember one time I called Kyrie and I sound like he was underwater. Liar, fam. fam. He sound he That's sleeps in a cupboard. No, I sleep in the, nowadays. You sleep in the cupboard. No, nowadays because of uh, COVID, we all had to like sleep in different bedrooms, innit? Okay. So now my dad sleeps in my bedroom, yeah, and I sleep in the extension room, like the guest room, innit? It's Why are you lying? You sleep in that cellar underneath the Sh- underneath. What the cellar? Stairs. I don't have a cellar in my house, fam. That's all. It's, it's that door that opens underneath. There's no the door that opens under my stairs. Harry Potter room. Anyway, There's no go on. Sorry, continue. All right. So, or sometimes like if it's like I've been on the screen too much, yeah, like. At work or something innit? I would like Go sit Again in my room I will turn the lights off in it And just like Sit where it's dark in it Cause like, if there's too much going on You just shut off for a while I feel like a lot of pressure in it Do you know what I mean it's th- And it's things like For example You feel like you don't You don't handle pressure well No I do it, It's not pressure like that in it yeah. It's like just mental pressure It's not like anything's happening Or anything like that It's hard to like, explain anxiety in it Cause it doesn't come for any reason If that makes sense Does it, does it just hit you? Huh? Does it just hit it you? Doesn't, for me personally Obviously I've, I've Kind of worked on it It doesn't, it doesn't randomly hit me anymore uh, but sometimes it might happen if like uh, There's ways to avoid it Do you know what I mean? Like for example If I'm going to work here Like this is why For morning commutes here I don't like seeing anyone On yeah. my morning I like to listen to my music And just like travel I hate it, bro. Calmly to like uni or work or whatever And that's one of the reasons Because I don't want that Like anxiety of like Having to deal with someone Before I've got to the place Where I need to get to you Kind of thing You haven't defrosted yet Yeah do you, know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean yeah, though, like, For real So like if there's, there's even times Because now Like in lockdown There's no morning commute Right yeah. I work from home yeah. But there'll be times Where I'll be like I'll, I'll literally tell my family Like yo Don't talk to me Because I got work today 
Because sometimes they'll, they'll come to me with aggro, innit? Yeah. Like sometimes, you know, your mom's just nagging about something, your dad's just saying something, or like your sister's just saying something. And it's like, you don't want that, you don't want anything to kick off your anxiety in the morning, innit? Yeah. Like you just want to get to work and do your thing. So I avoid it like that. Like I make sure that no one's talking to me or anything like that. Yeah. When did you realise that you can, like you'd be able to control your anxiety or not? When did I realise? Not realise, but how, like, like I think, when did, when did I it get I, to the point where you can actually like... I think I beca- became more aware of it recently, you know? Like during like lockdown and shit. Because I had to deal with it more at home, if that makes sense. Because oh. before it would be like anxiety going to work, going to school and stuff. But now it's like more in a controlled area. But like I see that saying every day. Do you know what I mean? Like you see your house every day. Yeah. And now you have to deal with that issue of like, you know, getting, getting anxiety yeah. and things like that. So I, for like, for example, like my dad is very understanding about it. Is it? So yeah. like I can just be like, I'm not feeling good. Actually, I can, I can see, I can see that way. And he'll just be like, okay. And then he'll, he'll literally leave me alone or he'll like help me out with it. Your know? dad's very cute, man. I can't lie, man. I haven't seen your dad in ages, man. He's quite good with it. Just write off as like, you know, on Dean. Uh, not really. My dad does that sometimes. He'll be like, he'll just be like, pray and then he'll be better in it. Yeah. But like, he, he doesn't do it like over, you know, some parents would be like, oh, it's because you're not praying. My dad does say that sometimes, but he realizes there's other reasons in it. Yeah. So like, for example, when I came home and I told him like, yo, I'm depressed, yeah. He was like. When was this? Uh, like a year ago, maybe two years ago, year and a half ago. But he just like oh, when when he actually yeah, yeah after the diagnosis yeah. in it, and then he was just like he kind of gave me a hug, and he was like, if you need to take time off uni, like take it, it's fine. Don't go to work if you don't need to go to work. Like we'll be fine and stuff in it. Yeah. So yeah, like he's quite good with it. So you just thought you just grew to d- deal with it. Yeah, it's not really the advice I was looking for. Oh, I don't know because I feel like I can give advice in it. If people have questions, honestly, I can give like tailor made advice in it. But to be general, it's the, the thing is, it's tricky in it. Because like, let's say, for example, you have a stomach ache and you have a stomach ache, yeah? It might not be the, for the same reason yeah. or it might not be treatable in the same way. And I feel like it's, it's, it's important for people to look at mental health in the same way. Yeah. I might just need to take a shit, but you might need to take Yeah, you might need to take, like, need to take like, yeah, do you know what I mean? And it's like, I think people need to see mental health in the same way they see physical health. Like, first of all, it's really important. And secondly, when people think of like the word, men- two words, mental health, yeah? You think of, you don't think of mental health, you think of mental health issues, I like? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah no, you, f- you think of the issues that come with mental health, but yeah. really, like physical health, everyone has mental health. It's not something that only exists when you have issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we all, all of us have mental well-being that we need to be considerate of, even if it's amazing yeah. or it's, 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 it's terrible. And you're, can snap, though. you're still on that spectrum, do you know what yeah. I mean? Either way, like, even if you are, Amazing you need, you need to find ways To keep it amazing Or like You're in the middle You need to find ways To improve it Do you know what I mean Yeah like physical health You think Oh I could be fitter But no one ever thinks that for Everyone's got health. a body Do you, you know what I mean Because well, you, you can see it yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean yeah. and, and like You go to the doctor For regular checkups Or like There's there's there's. That's another thing A lot of people Don't go for regular checkups You know I don't go for regular checkups When was the last time You had a blood test A blood test I had a blood test only because I like, had like a chest pain or something like that, like two, three years ago. Was it? You couldn't breastfeed each child? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I just had to throw, I need to throw in some jokes in it. So, you know, oh, no, to, to, to even keep it out, too serious. Yeah. Yeah. To even out the. I feel like we're getting kind of emotional, you know. It's quite a heavy, it's quite a heavy topic. Yeah. You know uh, I mean? But I feel like it's heavy, but at the same time, like we, it needs to be had. we, we make it heavy. Do you know what I mean? Because that's the other thing is like, you know, when you were saying like, oh, how do my parents feel about it? I think some like did I say that? Like I think we spoke about it, but how like, oh, okay. like how surprising is my dad? Like yeah, okay, he's yeah. quite okay with it because so, there's some instances like, I for can example, see it though. You know when I was in like um, in sixth form, yeah? yeah. You know our English teacher, yeah, like advised me to like get myself tested for ADHD in it because like my yeah. mind is going like different ways all the time in it. Yeah, and like people would literally tell me like, "Yo, like you have no sense of concentration at all. Like you go on tangents here, or like you focus on this one." Like even when I spoke about TV shows and not being able to finish them, because I, I, I only, I'm obsessed with like things that are new, and then I'm like moving on to the next thing, kind of thing. Yeah. And like, I feel like there was this this feeling of like, oh, we failed because there's something wrong with you, yeah. and like, how dare you say that kind of thing? Like, are you saying we are, are you saying that we fucked up in some yeah, sense? Yeah, yeah. And it's like no, but like this, the issue is still there. Yeah. And I think sometimes it's hard for parents to hear that there's something wrong with their kid, so. A lot of the time they'll just be in denial with it and be like, oh, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just this, it's just that. Because they don't want, they don't want to feel like they failed somehow. Which they, they no one, like, no one, fa- I'm not saying anyone failed in it. Yeah. It's just like, things happen in life. Sometimes yeah. 
You know, like if for example, they're not privy. Like, let's let's say let's say um, God forbid, any you got any sort of disease, yeah, like a physical one that people can see. Would would your parents? I got I got, I got a physical disease. It's called long penis syndrome. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I suffer from it daily. It's kind of mad. Okay, <laughs> well, I didn't. This, this, I'm talking to myself something. This how I scratch. I scratch it like this. Disgusting. We're on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a bell. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah Like for example like, Let's say asthma yeah, yeah. Would, 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 Like if your kid had asthma Would you go and say I failed as a parent Unless you were smoking Like 60 packs around them Then yeah you failed But like you wouldn't You wouldn't go to yourself Oh my kid's ill So I failed So why is it that same Mentality for like Mental it's, health It's I mean? a new It's a new thing It's a new, it's a new concept, concept yeah. To a lot of people man. Yeah Even like, for us I would say I I, 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 bro, I, I, didn't, I don't even know What, what anxiety feels like Oh it doesn't feel good I just know I just I just hear about people think And then like Obviously you read like Read stuff online and that yeah. And how to Who's calling bro It's a house phone yeah, It might be my, my parents in it saying, What are you saying about hello, us hello. <laughs> um, Yeah it's a new concept Concept man Like a lot yeah. of people Don't know how to deal with it Same fam <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people Don't even know what it is Yeah uh, I agree Because that's the other thing I, I, I feel like I'm Kind of going off a tangent again Just yeah. talk man But it's like the other thing Is like when I went therapy Yeah when we did speak about issues in the past, yeah, they're like, have you ever felt like this before? I was like, oh, I kind of have, you know, like when I was like 16, again, when I was like 13, like there's other times where I felt like this, but I just never deeped it until it got to this point. I'm sure there's so many other people out there in the world, yeah, maybe that are listening. Especially like these youths. Like. Yeah, like that they've been feeling it, but because it's all they've ever known, they're just thinking like, this is normal. This is how like every kid feels, or this is how all people feel. But like, just because people do feel that way, yeah, doesn't mean it's okay. I'm not saying it is okay for you to feel that way, but it doesn't mean you have to take it lying down. Yeah. Do, you, do you know what I mean? Like, this means you could do. Yeah, oh. like, like you can you can first admit that you have these issues, or like you can find out that you have these issues. Because some people, it's not that they don't want to admit it; yeah. they just don't know. And then you can go and see the avenues to deal with it. Do you know what like, I mean? like talking to someone and like talking to someone, self help, I guess. Like, there's there's techniques to help you as well. Like when I, what I talked about with like the triangle of like you know yeah. we'll post on our Instagram yeah like as an actual story and as a post so people can like refer back to it whenever they need to yeah do you know what I'm saying probably like <coughs> you know, or something whenever but yeah man I don't know I feel like we kind of dampened the mood you know a little bit no nah, it's alright bro it's, it's, yeah. it's normal isn't it yeah and to be honest it's not like we got, we didn't get into like actual issues oh yeah yeah. Like, yeah like how to I'm gonna be here like uh, my mama be me and I'm uh, like, <laughs> Did your mom beat you? My mama beat me. I got no self confidence. <laughs> can't joke it. I'm joking. Can't joke it. That's all getting cut out, fam. My mom beat me. I'm not, I'm gonna put anything about my mom. Everyone, beat me. everyone in my family has beat me, fam. <laughs> everyone in your everyone, family. Has everyone. Beat me. When I mean family, I mean extended family too. I don't think anyone in my extended family could beat me. My mom would get vexed. Bro, my mom would tag team in, fam. <laughs> Bro, my, my mom, mom, my auntie, and my mom they used to tag each other in. When one got tired, one would just go. Moving like DX, yeah. Come in, like, yeah, moving, like Hardy boys, you know. Bro, I swear, those, <laughs> those, 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 bro, they used to come in, bro. bro it's a, it's a <laughs> have you ever get, have you got beat so much that you start to sweat? <laughs> 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 you, you think I lied, bro? I used to, bro, it's a workout, bro. Then I just go take a shower and then I'll have a fresh, I'll, I'll, I'll have some hot food. I, 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 saw, plate, like, I saw like this, this meme, yeah. It was like, oh, there's a guy coming to the room. He's like, every time you get beat by your mum, yeah, it's just like, come like. <laughs> I'm gonna run away. Yeah, I'm gonna run. Away. Do, you know how times I run? Do you, know, do you know how many times I run away from home in my head, fam? <laughs> I you saying like, I was like, bro, do you want to about that? Fam, I was gonna pack. I was gonna pack a bag just for my PS2, fam. Uh, uh, it's good times, man. You just come in the room and be like, I hate myself. I, like, I, hate I hope the demons say my family. Away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sick of this fucking family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? It's good, crazy. It's right. really. No, it was good times, right? Like, I'm keep, glad I got beat. I can't have lie. You, have you one call to him, she's like, "Why are you crying for? Yeah. I'm gonna give you a reason to cry." Bro, I remember one time I used to get beat for crying while getting beat, fam. No, bro, awesome. bro, bro, how am I supposed to laugh, fam? Uh, you, it, do you know which one I hated? Yeah? yeah, when you're getting beat, yeah, beat, it's unexpected, like unexpected beat, yeah, and you're like, yeah. "Hey, mom's like, you fighting back?" Fighting back. <laughs> oh, blood! That was the worst thing, fam. fam. That was the worst. Bro, I'm, I'm a, saying, my hands are up and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to strike, you know? bro. There was I remember I still remember the time yeah where I was getting licks yeah then I was I, I just started to react in it yeah all I know yeah is to cry in it yeah or like just just like do you know what I'm saying yeah but then I was getting licked yeah then I'm thinking 
Just don't hurt you though, fam. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that was all bad. Why am I crying? Man? This don't hurt. But I'm continuing the act, fam. Because if I, because I know, yeah, it's coming to an end, yeah. yeah. If I try to firm it, yeah. I know I'm getting deaded even more. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, fam. I remember this is the Uno's flip card, your Uno reverse card, yeah, you know. Fam. Instead of like, why are you crying? Why are you not crying, fam? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to do the worst, man. You used to put your hand out like that. Bro. And then she needs to slap it, innit? Blood. And if you flinch, <laughs> if you move your hand, yeah. you get two. Did she ever tell That's you, true. like, when you put your hand out, yeah? And she would tell you how many you're going to get? No, I never got that. Because those were so painful, yeah? Because like, I have one older sister, one younger sister, you know? And if we were all in trouble, yeah? It used to be like, my older sister gets 15, I get 10, and my older sister gets 5 in there. What's this? Some cubic <laughs> arithmetic? <laughs> I don't uh, know. Like, what is this beat? So we put a hand out, yeah? And you get to like 8, yeah? And you're like, bruv, I can't take this anymore. The rolling pin <laughs> is implanted in my hand, bruv. I got new wrinkles and everything, yeah? <laughs> And you're like, I've got new DNA, new shit. Yeah. <laughs> bro, it will literally like imprint on your hand, innit? If it hit your wrist, that was the most painful. This bone right here, mm. painful, innit? And you just be like, oh, two more, I'm going to firm in it. I don't know what would happen in my head. I was like, the last one, I'll dodge it. Like, I'll move it away, yeah. And it starts again. I'll look at myself, I'll look at my mom, and she'll look at me. And we're just looking at each other, like, you know you fucked up. <laughs> you see them, you Asian, know you you see them Asian, up. You see them Asian shows, yeah, where it's like, it's something man happens, yeah. The thunder the music, the just, Yeah, yeah, fam. Rule two. <laughs> And I'll be like, no, no, mom, please, please. I didn't mean, my hand moved by itself. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to move it. Uh, we, I, I swear, I could do a whole episode about getting beats, fam. Uh. But I'm a one time, bro. We had a little hedge in it, yeah? My old crib, fam, yeah? My mom said, my mom literally looks me dead in my eye. Bro. I think I know yeah. what you're going to say. Bro, she looks me dead in my eye and goes, go outside and pick a stick. <laughs> fam. Bro. Sticks are the worst. Fam. Bro. Bro. I try to pick up some dickhead stick. <laughs> my mom took it. She, she looked at me. She looked at it. She's, she's, like, like, she's, like, like, she's like, what? All right, cool. She goes, bro, she picks out a madness. Bro, listen, listen, fam. I got beat with both sticks. <laughs> <laughs> I got beat with the madness and some dickhead twig, fam. Um, you know, what I used to, you know the, the, the worst betrayal in life, yeah? When it came to my sister's getting beat, yeah? My mom would be like, oh, she said my name and be like, Go get like the hangover, go get the stick stick in it. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to see my sisters get hurt in it. So I'd be like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. And then I would have to get yeah, beat as well, in it. Yeah, yeah. Then it comes to me getting in trouble, yeah. And they're like to my sister, she's not like to my sister, go get the stick. And they are they bruv, they're skipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They you run to the, they run to the wardrobe, get the stick, and I'm yeah. like, How you lot snaking me like this? I found out like, out of my family, I'm the one that got hit the most, fam. My my sisters don't get I think it's, I think it's the oldest thing, in it. Because we're the old oldest. Man. My oldest sister was the oldest in it, so it's kind of peak for her. It's bro, man. It's peak, fam. What's the worst uh worst equipment that you got hit? Worst equipment, bro. We had like a vase for, like a long You got hit with a vase? <laughs> no, no, no. There was like a long a bunch of like roses in it. Yeah. Like a long and they were fake. They weren't yeah. real. Like plastic ones oh, in it. Oh, I know you took them. But they had the thorns on yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what, who puts thorns on fake flowers, <laughs> yeah. yeah? Oh fam. They, it was well, I was like a whip. Wallahi, he was like a whip. I know, I know, I know exactly what kind. And of it made the whipping sound and everything. The the bomb part was flexible. Yeah. It's like, whoosh, whoosh. it will literally come down on you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's that and the rolling pin. Rolling pin. You don't know about the rolling pin, bro. I used to when get the rolling pin spoon. hits this part, yeah. Wallahi, it feels like you, you want to cut your hand off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, I had a Quran teacher here yeah, when I was younger. He used, to, he used to always bring a stick, and I used to think that stick was like a you know what's the Walking thing you, go, you brush your teeth with. Oh, I miss what? what? Yeah, I thought it was that. Yeah, but it wasn't. He had a, he had another one to you know when you read read Quran and you, you have to read it with your right hand and like put your finger there so you can like yeah know know where you are. Yeah. Every mistake you do, you smash your knuckles with that stick. And I, oh. Yeah, I, and I used to like not thinking back at you, I just think why, why was I getting beaten up for making mistakes? Like I'm trying to learn. <laughs> I don't understand what happened. <laughs> I, 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 I used to be in tears, man. Like, the shit used to hurt it's so bad. I'm like, this tears coming on my eyes. I'm still trying to read. I'm like, 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 my brother's uh, Quran teacher, yeah, we used to, he used to put a thing, his pencil in between his fingers, fam. Oh, he I heard about this. Oh, yeah. yeah. So one time, yeah, I was I was in my, we were in, like, at home thing, innit? And we were learning Quran, yeah? I think he was just boiling me off, like, for years, he was just boiling me off for no reason, innit? 
He'll be like, oh, your sisters are so good, good at reading Quran. Why are you so rubbish? Are you an idiot? He'll pull my ear. Like, always pulling my ear, twisting my ear and shit, yeah. All the time, yeah. I'm, I'm, I got that. I'm thinking to myself, I'm fuming. Like, what, what, what he, what's he doing? Like, yeah. And obviously you have that thing where like, you don't want to be embarrassed in front of your sisters, innit? You're trying to be a man kind of thing, innit? So one time, yeah, he must have just like... You got beat by your sisters, innit? Nah, nah. I'll tell you about that in a second. All right. yeah. So he used to like, just palm me off, palm me off, yeah. And I think one time I just cracked in it. I was just get, getting emotional, yeah. He's like, oh, he's like to my little sister, yeah. Oh, look, your brother's crying, yeah. Bro, I was fuming, yeah. I said, shut up. <laughs> I said, shut up. This guy threw the Quran at me. <laughs> 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 he was like, how, he was like, how dare you, yeah. So I got, I got kicked out of the classroom, yeah. I thought, what the fuck? <laughs> the thing is, as well, yeah. Like it wasn't a, like a, it wasn't a school in it. It was in like a family friend's house, innit? So when I came out of the room, all these old people were waiting there, like sitting, they were just like in the house, yeah, in the yeah. other sitting room, innit? They go in and they say, what happened, yeah? They all come out, yeah? I'm just sitting there like sobbing in it, like I'm getting in trouble, like for my parents. So how dare he told me, how dare he like say, I'm call me a crybaby, all that stuff, yeah? And then all these adults came, yeah? Not even my parents, yeah? Came out like, they were saying in Bengali, they were like, how dare you say shut up to the Quran teacher, da, da, da. I was like, this guy just threw the crown at me. <laughs> this guy threw the crown at me, telling me how dare I. But well, they see it as you, dis- you dis- disrespect as someone older. The, yeah. the crown teacher, it. But a man put me on TV though as well one time. What did he dash a uh, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. As in like, one, I went on a slum channel so in, in front of a chat, in, at the beginning of a chat show, I had to like recite a Sura as like a little kid. Oh, is it? And, like, yeah. started thing. You have it on video? Nah, yeah. nah, nah. The, yeah, I don't know. We just, I don't know that, we went from men, talking about mental health to getting beat as a child. Yeah, I recently spoke to my parents about it. Yeah, I was like, as a kid, yeah, why did you guys let me get hit by my Quran teacher? Like, why did you let him talk to me like that? And then my mom was just like, I don't know. We just thought it was normal at that time. <laughs> uh, I said, if I have if I have kids, yeah, and I have, let's go to Quran school, bro. I'm no Quran teacher is touching them. Yeah. I will f- fuck up that teacher. No one can touch my kids. Oh yeah, let me say what what I got beat. With. I got beat with a football boot one time. <laughs> what football boots? The, not the the, the dickhead. Not yeah, the studs one, bro. I have a question. The, God, didn't your mom wear mercurials to Pepsi? Someone, money? that's someone else's mom. Someone, someone wore mercurials to uh no, sorry, total night, total nineties to uh end the year prom. The one with the full studs in, man. <laughs> <laughs> not the ones, <laughs> for, not the for, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like football boots. Like, you know when the horse walks on the pavement. <laughs> <laughs> When you walk on the fucking yeah, when you walk on the pavement, the goals are something, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got beat with wires, belts, wires. wooden spoons. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know which ones were peak when like you one would beat with the wooden spoon, yeah, and then get angry at you for breaking the wooden spoon. Yeah, I didn't break it. You broke it on my head. Like, they're, like, they're like, what? Oh, you got strength now, yeah. <laughs> you got strength, bro. And the metal one comes out. You got hit with the metal one, the one where you fry eggs with. The spatula thing, innit? Spatula, yeah, it's a spatula, bro. <laughs> see the spatula, bro. See the spatula on the palm. You know what's jarring? Because all these ones have like intricate patterns on them. They're leaving yeah, prints yeah, on like them. Big man thing, fam. Some Aztec, <laughs> yeah. some top man prints, fam. But yeah, that was a little yeah. light-hearted topic. Yeah. I don't know how we got from mental health to the game beats. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, these are these are topics. Maybe, maybe next year we're going to like yeah, with the link, proper. Yeah, the link, yeah. yeah. I don't feel I mean, like they, 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 link, <laughs> they link a lot, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Mental health getting beat. Uh, <laughs> they did quite a lot of you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. What's wrong with it? Yeah, like, like another day. Some, another I got day. PTSD, fam. I flinched at night, fam. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, you, my oh, dad has never hit me. Yeah, same here, and never, here and there. Here and there. What? <laughs> 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 Go closer to the wall. What age is um, I mean, that's, honestly, that's kind of hard to go to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, think, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I haven't had that relationship with my dad. I had that relationship with my uncle. You getting beat to your uncle? No, not, not beats yet, but my uncle get. My uncle's from this, like, he's born here, innit? Yeah. And he's got kind of that attitude, you know, like, I'll, I'm not your parents, so I'll beat you up, kind of thing, if you do something wrong, innit? Oh, shit, in this I'm, case. I'm thinking, like, yo, I'm. I'm not on my uncle's face, because my uncles will rap me. <laughs> sometimes, I, sometimes I think to myself, yeah, like, he'll be, he'll be getting rude to me, innit? I'll be thinking. I'm 14. Why you, Why you got so much aggravation for me, for bro? A why are you beefing a 14 year old? Yeah, fam. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I know, find you know, find someone your own age. Hello? So That's yeah. the goes back to the man. There's all the good G shit. Yeah. When it comes to, do you know so, what I'm so like, when, I think when I was like 16, yeah, I realized you're kind of frail. You know, I could take you. Yeah. Like one part, one banging is over. Yeah, real talk. But obviously, uh, like nothing materialized in it. But I, I sometimes I think to myself, yeah, like you don't have to take this no more. I can rap you. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but these are topics maybe like in the next year or so we can go into like more research and shit. Eh? The more the mean? more serious ones in like mental health yeah, and mental stuff. Health. Eh? And we I feel like to- masculinity is one that we need to talk about in detail. And Laska, if you're listening to this, you're fat. Bitch, nah, nah, you need to start coming to these things because we need your input on this. Yeah. Um, but quick little takeaways from the mental health um segment. If you if you ever if you guys ever need help, talk to someone, try re- do some research, yeah. reach out to a friend, because a lot of a lot of people would rather listen to you talk to you talk talk about your problems. Yeah. Than than like have to visit you in hospital or something like. Do you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, so just talk to someone. If you don't want to get professional help, talk to your brethren's men and women alike. Do you know what I'm saying? Also, anyone, anyone. Also, also like, like start treating yourself kinder as well. Yeah, man. Like start thinking about break, yourself. Because even you know, you're saying like, oh, a lot of your friends would rather see you in, like, talk to you than see you in hospital and stuff. Yeah. yeah? For me, one of like the things I got, I don't want to go too much into the topic back again. In it, yeah? Oh man. But like, one of the things that I'll get anxiety over is like, you know, when you go out and stuff, yeah, and you're like having a good time and stuff, yeah. And then you come home and you feel like I don't, I don't think you, I I don't know I wouldn't get the impression that you'd get that feeling yeah. Like, if, you, if you finish off, I might I might be able to tell you. <laughs> but when I come home yeah, and I might be like I just think to myself like yo I kind of spoke too much and I probably annoyed people. Do you know what I mean? Like I would I would second guess everything I did that yeah. day. Do you know what I mean? But then like, obviously I get that with jokes. Yeah, <laughs> even if like you've gone too far, so I, yeah, we've gone too far. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, man. but like n- now nowadays when I think kind to myself, I think like oh. If if they didn't want me around, they wouldn't be they wouldn't be around me. Yeah, exactly. So clearly they appreciate me, yeah. and I, I I shouldn't have to second guess myself. And you will know when like with some if you're talking too much. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. No, it was just it was just but like again, paranoia and anxiety. Again, what's wrong with talking too much, fam? There's nothing wrong with talk. There's I mean, no no no. Listen, now, now, no, no, now, no, no. now we're getting to like no no. Listen, listen. let me say something. Yeah, because like now we're getting to like actual smooth skin. Fam. Really, now we're going Do to you shave your arms. No, <laughs> now we're going to actual That's, actual no. childhood trauma. Because like sometimes yeah, I actually think. Like my urge to be quiet all the time, yeah, it comes a lot from like certain people in my family, like teaching me that that's how you have to be, if that makes sense. Well, like quiet and yeah, like or yourself. like yeah, like speak, or, like don't embarrass yourself. If you're too loud, yeah. people are gonna think of you this way. If you're too loud, like you're you're giving a negative perception of yourself. When you really you can be loud and still be saying good things. You know what I mean, yeah. or like still be loud and like people will <laughs> like you. And obviously, when I grew up, I like I feel like my family gave me that impression of like if you're too loud. Or like, if you make yourself too noticeable, people are not gonna like you, and that, that's kind of like found its way into my personality. But yeah, I don't know why I'm saying this in the wrap up, but nah, hey, but it's again, man, it doesn't matter, man. If you're talking to, who cares, bro? No, nah, but like, obviously, that's the thing with like mental health, innit? You can, it's it's well, all well and good is saying it doesn't matter, yeah. No, but I was no, but I'm I'm not saying like 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 I'm I'm saying as like you shouldn't think, like, oh yeah, yeah, don't yeah. think, don't hold, let don't let that hold you back. Yeah. If you want to talk, bro, just talk. As in something, it's something to work on, isn't it? It's, it's not always something you just fix overnight. Again, it's not. I'm not just talking just the you know, it's, it's the, yeah, the wider in audience. General, you know yeah. But yeah, man, just talk to someone. Talk to Frank if you need to as well for some <laughs> unis. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Um, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a lot. Of, a lot of friends. Uh, a lot of people are nitties are nowadays. You know. Do yeah. you know what I'm saying? So. All right. Um, but yeah. Yeah, mm. like, yeah, bro. Like, nah, you know what? That's another. They'll be like, yeah. they'll be like, yeah. nah, I can stop anytime. You know? Yeah, I was gonna say that. I can that. stop anytime. I was gonna say that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, doing my things. Like, you've been you, saying you, that for a whole anytime, decade, fam. Right? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, just talk, talk to someone. Do you know what I mean? Get some help. It's not a taboo anymore. It, it was. We may, it might have been a couple of years ago. But and even, even if it is, yeah, it's up to us yeah, to like. No, I'm not saying like us on this podcast, but like us generally. Yeah. This whole generation. We know better than the past generation. Not like a knock on the old generation. We we have access to internet. Books we have, that they we have access have. to things that they don't have. Just yeah. like they had access to things that their parents didn't have. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, it's all about teaching, bro. It's all about helping each other. We're all yeah. in this together. It's also about like, so you know what I'm talking about like, oh, how your family have raised you to be and that kind of influences your personality and stuff. It's also about unlearning a lot of things. Yeah. Like learning that what you were taught before wasn't, is, is okay to forget. Do yeah. you know what I mean? No, um, that's true. But yeah. If you, you know, you know like you know, like in at the end of like EastEnders or Hollyoaks or something, yeah, they'll be like, do. if you have been affected by any of the problems Hello. on the show, please call. Hello. <laughs> and you have to put like the Samaritans helpline. But Hello. if you have been affected, please do call. Please do call. Yeah, call someone, fam. Anyone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying all the numbers and like we have some some tips and like how to like deal with some mental health stuff, things that you can do, 
things you could, like. Oh, we'll, we'll post it on Instagram. Yeah, we'll post because also, we yeah, don't have them off the top of our head at the everything. moment. Yeah, yeah, come, yeah. Come to our Instagram and we will post them as a <laughs> post yeah. underneath. We'll get into more, more like we'll get into a more in-depth conversation about mental health yeah, when we have a bit more knowledge in the near future. But uh, the other thing is, I feel like we have the knowledge, yeah, but it's like it's hard to even for me, yeah, like the things I said. I think is like the surface level of what I, I'm okay with saying in it. Because it's yeah, like, of course, because you can't put throw everything on the table. But it's, it's also one of those things where, like, you'll be more okay with saying other things, but not on the spot. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I can't come on the spot and be like, I'm okay with saying this. All right, anyway. So, but yeah, that's a little wrap up. Do you know what I'm saying? Talk to someone, talk to Frank, talk to AB, Kirogen, Landlord. Maybe not Lando because he's, he's, he's not really active. He's off the radar. Do you know what I'm saying? Maybe not Alaska because clearly don't reply, he don't, he don't, Alaska don't reply to any of our uh, messages. So, if you yeah, want to speak exactly, to him, yeah. um, ask him that we're, tell him that we're, we're looking for him. Yeah, or we are looking for replacements. <laughs> so sending your CVs. Uh, Time to talk, Gmail. Okay, all right. Let's let's wrap it up. Yeah. Anyway, it's on to the new segment. Is that time for? Are we still going with the people's choice? Go on, just go for the people's choice. Wait, let's let's do that again. So, guys, it you is. Still don't no, know. no, no, it's the, it's that one. But oh, we, okay. we didn't say the thing in okay, it. Wait, so let me turn off the thing in it. So it's time for uh, the people's choice. Oh, it's time for the the part of the podcast. Where you guys get to hear your input. <laughs> I'm going to laugh about some of the things you said. But it is time for... The People's Choice. I can't do it again, please. I'm tired, man. <laughs> they, heard, they heard it last week. I'm going to try, I'm gonna try to do it again. Oh, can you do it again? Go on. I pressed the button like five uh, times now. No, it's The People's Choice. Where you guys can send in your suggestions to K... Oh, I'm going to say KB, you know. <laughs> A, B, and Q, I can't do it, man, please. please. All right, all right, all right. Let's just, just get keep, straight into it. Keep this in anyway. Let's bro. get straight into it. The first question that we asked you, based on our podcast uh, last week, was, what was the first one? Oh, your go-to... Oh, superpowers. It was your go-to shows to watch while eating, okay. or your comfort shows. Yeah, so we got quite a few stuff. Do you guys want to sit while I'm looking for it, do you guys want to see what yours are? What, comfort shows while eating? Yeah. Uh, page five on Pornhub. <laughs> um, comfort shows mm. right now, obviously, um, all is sunny in Philadelphia, yeah, all sunny in Philadelphia, um, Bangladesh. It's never sunny in Bangladesh, it's always sunny in Bangladesh. We do what? What about monsoon season? It's still sunny, is it? There's rain coming down. Uh, okay. I don't really watch shows anymore, I just watch YouTube now, man. I watch Titan Talk, really. Okay, let's let's go through what people said. There's a lot. Alright, so there's a lot of um, friends on there. Friends is so overrated. I don't think so. We, I think we actually did a poll on that as well. Yeah, what, what did like, it come as? If, if it was overrated. I don't know if I screenshot it. Question though, isn't it? Yeah. Overrated or outdated? Oh, that's a good point. I think it's both. That's a good point. I'd say both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's both. I think, like, for example, I, I studied sociology and a uni in it. I, they, like, force you to, like, Come up with all these reasons why it's bad, what, like friends, like transphobic, fatphobic, all that stuff. The fact that there's no like transphobic. Yeah, like uh, Chandler's Chandler's dad is a girl, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, so so they, how, so wouldn't it be Chandler's mom? Oh shit! Yeah. No, it's biological mom. It's biological dad. His biological mom is Leng. I can't remember that stuff. You know. Remember. Well, she was a gilf. <laughs> 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 but yeah, like friends was up there a lot. People said Friends quite a lot. Friends is pants, man. I think Friends is great. Um, people said Modern Family was one that came up quite a bit. I think I Wait, agree. Is this for the whilst eating? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I agree with Friends. Mm. Modern Family is... I, lo- I love Modern Family. Modern Family is like... They have a couple of gay characters on there, isn't it? Right, like it. They are bare hilarious, I can't lie. Probably one of the funniest characters I've ever seen. Um, someone said Sister Sister. Has anyone seen Sister Sister? Isn't that a movie? No. What is a movie? I haven't you, even heard of that. You think of like Sister Act fam? Wait, Whoopi Goldberg. Wait, girl. I seen Stepsister. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, so, no one's seen Sister Sister. I ain't even heard of Sister Sister. Um, Brooklyn Nine Nine. What do you guys think about that? Brooklyn Nine Nine is a good show. Show. That is a good show while I was eating, but I don't read it. Yeah, I don't read it. You don't read it? I, don't I watched it. the first season and a half, and uh, I don't think it's funny. Like, I, f- at all. I think it's quite funny, you know? It's I got to force myself to laugh, man. I don't like really yeah. any of the characters either. I like um, I, don't I like Rosa. I like Rosa, yeah. I Rosa, like Rosa, 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 Rosa. Really, everybody hates Chris. Terry, yeah, I like Terry Cruz. Yeah, yeah. You know I like it. I can't lie. 
Charles Boyle, he's, he's hilarious, quite funny, fam. fam. Charles Boyle is quite funny. He's hilarious because he, he's just he's just a like a like he's just a feminine man. He's a he's, a, he's, a, he's such a beta male that yeah. it's just funny, fam. What do you think? <laughs> we, Everyone a, we had a, a whole like Boyle. discussion about like male masculinity and mental yeah. health. This guy like he's such a beta male. No, but he's <laughs> nah, me. Yeah, feminine, yeah. Bro. Come on, bro. He's always doing weird shit like like, like mental goat cheese or something. Just like. sucking off Jake. Jake, yeah, I say Jake Toronto, yeah. Jake Toronto. Revolta. Oh, AB said brothers. <laughs> <laughs> like whenever eating, not eating. Oh, I'm doing it now. <laughs> but brothers is a bit like, you gotta go looking for that. No, nah, it's eating, man. Yeah. yeah. I want most food. I'm yeah. Trying, I'm trying to join the crowd. <laughs> I, I, I look for people I know. Yeah, yeah. People I you know. Like, yeah. 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 Lil- I'm a banger, though. I can, like, <laughs> like, if we're being real, I could probably name like 200. 200? I didn't know there was 200. 200? <laughs> Go on. Right, let's dead off this topic. If I want to know what we did. Too long. Uh, so, someone said brothers. Uh, AB said brothers, actually. But we're not going to count that. Because um, I don't know how you can do that with Ian. Friends game. Community is a good one. Yeah, I think community is probably the best shot. Yeah, have you have you seen community? Yeah. Community is amazing. Is it, yeah? I would 100% recommend watching watch community. Watch, I'm going to watch Harry Potter, though. It is great. It's more my someone said Attack on Titan. I tried to watch the first episode and I saw this dickhead. It's not Skellish. in English. It's in Japanese, yeah. So how are you supposed to eat? That's, that's what I would say. Like, I don't mind doing that with comedies and shit, but I feel like Attack on Titan is too serious of a show to watch while eating. You need like your you need your concentration to actually be on Attack yeah, on yeah, Titan. Yeah. That's why I don't feel I could watch Attack on Titan. Um like on the fly like that, do you know what I mean? Um we've got Fresh Prince. Yeah, shout. Yeah. I only do an episode of how Fresh Prince is literally like my life, fam. Um. Yeah, we do actually. Because the maddest thing is, it, it genuinely it actually is, is. It genuinely is like your your life. We had community friends. Someone says suits. Is that a superpower? Uh, uh, nah, no, the law, the lawyer one. Law, lawyer one, yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know. You know, again, another serious show that you have to pay attention to. It's not. It's not too serious, but it's cool. No, it's not too serious, but I can kind of agree on this. Thing. I feel like suits. It got rep- repetitive as well. It is. It's, every episode is exactly the same. Mm. They have a problem. Actually, I can't bother to beat them on like, with their formula. There yeah, it is like, oh, uh, Mike's about to get caught. Yeah, it's, it's just the same shit. Uh, someone said New God. You guys don't watch New God, innit? Nah. New God is funny, man. I can't lie. Ertel. Is that a Turkish? Yeah, Turkish Ertel's comedy. too long, man. Oh, so drawn out. What is it, like, four, four, 300 episodes? And each episode is like, the actual Turkish episodes, yeah, bruv, are like. Sorry, sorry. The actual so Turkish good. episodes are like two hours long, you know? It's just on. It's just on Netflix. They cut it down to like an hour each, but the actual episodes are like two hours. And it? Yeah, it, it just got so boring. I couldn't watch it. Like it was good to watch during Ramadan because obviously during Ramadan you can't watch too. Can't be watching Game of Thrones during Ramadan. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so that's what was. Good. I don't think anyone I wants brothers in Ramadan. <laughs> <laughs> After Monday, didn't it? Stuff for Allah. Stuff for Allah. This guy's been shouting at three a.m. just before Suhoor. You know. Hello. Quick shower. Uh, someone said, someone said every, everybody hates Chris. Yeah, decent shower. Yeah, good shower. You see, with everybody hates Chris and my wife and kids, yeah, I would watch them if they were on actual streaming site. I saw my wife and kids on Netflix. Is it? Sorry, that was that was a stinker. <laughs> uh, it was on Netflix for a while, no? Is it? I think they might have taken it off. But I'm pretty I don't, sure it was on I don't think it is, but like for example, like my I want to watch my wife and kids when I'm eating, yeah. Are you pretty sure it was on Netflix, you. My wife and kids not on Netflix. Is it? Oh. They must have taken it off then. It's not, it's never been on Netflix. I'm pretty sure it's, it's My wife and kids uh, Guys if you listen Answer this year DM us Has it, my wife and kids Ever been on Netflix I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure, it sure it hasn't I'm pretty sure it hasn't But don't you think While eating yeah You don't want to look for, Too hard for a show nah. You want it to be there When you turn on Netflix the sun and the, yeah. So like my wife and kids Would never make the cut uh, Everybody Hates Chris Would never make the cut I streamed uh, Everybody Hates Chris recently On what? You can't stream and eat Yeah like you can't be it's... Looking for something and also Netflix, it rolls onto the next episode. So if I'm eating a heavy, heavy yeah, meal, true. I want it to roll onto the next episode. I don't want to have to look for you the next eat episode. Longer than like twenty minutes. Sometimes. What you been eating? I'm like, yeah. you're a horse. You know, like one time, yeah, I, would, cause I ordered like during lockdown, I would order a lot of food to my house, and everyone then, did. And then like the food, I would always like order it, and then like. I would always pray that it comes with my dad's like in the bathroom upstairs, and because my dad is very good with money, and I'm yeah. terrible with money, yeah. So he would just come down and be like... Man's a terrible with money. He wanted to buy a rollie. That's true. But anyway, so he was like, oh, so you order... F-. He would just come down and be like, you order food, in it." One time he must have picked up the food, like opened the door, yeah? He put it in the receipt. It said £20 in it. And he's like, is this for the family? I'm like, no, it's for me. Bro, what? You would... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Actually, to be honest, Nando's orders at twenty pounds. Yeah. Was it from Nando's? It's yeah, from Pepe's. Fucking Pepe's. Yeah. I swear they have like six pound meals. All right, let me tell you, yeah, from Pepe's. Yeah. I don't want to hear this. You do want to hear it? Go on. I'm. Ch- Ch- chicken I, XL. I hate. I hate Pepe's. I love Pepe's. Chicken XL with the extra fillet inside, so that's two pound extra. <laughs> uh, paneer and rice. I love a bit of paneer mm. and the hot wings, and that's it. That's not, that's not that much. I want some wings now. <sighs> that was all. Uh, what's it called the go-to shows that people watch at home. The next question we asked you guys: Would you take the vaccine, and why or why not? Should we go through some of the answers? Yeah, go on, and this this will be interesting. So the vote, I think the vote was seventy percent no. Seventy yeah. percent people said no, they wouldn't, and thirty percent people said uh, they would. Yeah. The first answer was, "Yeah, I would take it because I just want to go out and live my life." Yeah, that's that's. that's I, that's, I agree that's with that's that. Respectable, yeah. I want to go live my life. Someone said, "I eat pork, bro. I'm immune. I don't need it." <laughs> Who's the that? Let me see some Ashraf. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now he, he just bait himself out as a cuff. No, I'm joking. You can't oh. even say that. You can't even say that. But anyway, so yeah. Uh, next one said, "I voted yes because uh, I will when I'm offered it." But I'm glad that those at risk are prioritized over me. So you say that? So I'm voted. Bit lost bit. I voted yes because I will. I will take it when I'm offered it. I'm glad the, the, those are at risk are prioritized over me, and I'm sufficiently convinced of its safety, and I don't want to put others at risk if I get COVID. That's, that's a well thought. That's, that's very responsible. Fam. Yeah, very Who's well thought. A brother from high school. Another person said no because they already had the virus. What? You're in the picture. Huh? They already got the virus. So they already had the virus. Are you immune if you already had the virus? No. It, it mutates, isn't it? Like you can get it again, right? No. Well, a virus technically can, but you're like. So say like you had the virus Yeah And like you survived it Yeah But yeah cool you survived it But it's gonna have like um, Long term effects later on in life Yeah Like lung failures and shit Yeah So they said They wouldn't take the vaccine Because they already had the virus Okay Who's, Which retard said this? Wait hold on Wait wait, wait. I swear you can catch it again Bro no way Yeah I, Don't virus it? Don't viruses and mutate Yeah that's what I said like Because I swear That's why I don't have like Um like a, like a cold, cold, like a cold thing. Yeah, because you all like they have to update it every year yeah. for the flu jab and shit. Like. Yeah, yeah, you can. I'm pretty sure Scientific you can. Like, By not taking the virus, that just means other people are at risk from catching it. Yeah, uh, but you, you, you maybe, maybe, maybe you become asymptomatic, but surely you can still pass it on to others. Then I genuinely believe I caught virus it off because I was so I was I was I was working throughout the whole thing. There was no way that I could have dodged it. That's possible. Yeah, I think it's did you did you not do the follow protocol and all that stuff? What's that like? Where like wash your hands everywhere? I was washing my hands anyway. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's one of the best things about COVID. Like, like people like, taking care of the hygiene and shit. It's it? about fucking like yeah, bro. yeah. The simple things like people didn't do like washing their hands. <laughs> yeah, fam. The next one says they're gonna wait to see the effects first of the virus. So let the test but is first. isn't that what the trials are for? It's not a trial, if, though. but you no. Know, but if you deep it, yeah. If you're waiting to see, trials, bro. no, that's what I'm saying. If you are waiting for the results of the actual vaccine to, of the vaccine that's been given out to the population to see the effects, isn't that what the trial is for? They got the same vaccine as we were get, and we saw the effects that happened to them. Do you know what oh, I'm yeah, saying? So like no you're waiting for a trial after the trial. Yeah. You, you know what I'm trying to say? But then no, but then if the if the effects are like the effects not won't favorable. be the effects won't be anything different though. No, but if it's not unless, favorable, unless, they, won't just, unless, they won't just take it. No, but the effects, we've already seen the effects, is what I'm trying to say. The trial has already gone and passed. Like, yeah. let's say you, you'll be eligible for it in two months, yeah? The trial was like... I wouldn't what? take it in two months. Okay, let's say you're eligible for it in two months, yeah? For the point, for the sake of the point. No, yeah? but I don't care. For the sake of the point, yeah? In two months, you're eligible for it. This person... Oh, make a, make a point shut up, man. Sense. Shut up. <laughs> this person said they're going to wait for, to see the effects, wasn't it? Who said that? They're going to wait for two months to see the effects, whereas the trial already went on for nine months. Yeah. So like the trial was longer than you're waiting to see the effects anyway. You get what I'm trying to say? I do, I do get what you're trying to say. You know, I think the effects that people should be worried about are way more long term. Like, yeah. yeah. Like if it could affect your infertility rate, so could like be in in a few years to come. Yeah. But COVID also yeah, has then the, everyone's gonna have to take the virus. COVID yeah, also has those issues though. Like it can fuck up your respiratory system and everything, like lung damage and shit like that. Do you know what I mean, so that's something you have to worry about on that side. Yeah. But yeah. Um, someone said It's medically proven And it wouldn't have been approved If there were any foreseen that's, Side effects That's dumb Why? That's dumb Bro you know You know doctors used to Prescribe um, patients Marlboro cigarettes 
to help with the coughs. Come on, man, that's dumb. Science, science has changed yet, yeah. and also a lot of these come from America. America's the FDA oh, is shit. Exactly. But this Pfizer, was, the Pfizer, the vaccine was approved by the MH, uh, MHRA or MHDA, the the UK's one, which is the strictest one in the world. It's, there's it's, a different. There's a difference between easy, the two. There's crazy. a difference between the two. The only reason I would take it is because I want to travel. No nah, man, I think it's, it's different between America. Everyone knows America. Like they move mad with everything. Their their approval agency, or whatever, they're mad anyway. Whereas the one in the UK is one of the best ones in the world. Yeah. So like, the, see, the effects of COVID would be worse. Um, someone said, "I don't want my genetic code to change." <laughs> that was you. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So we'll, I lost see. That's quite funny. I forgot that you even said it. Yeah, we're waiting for December twenty first to see if some of our friends will mutate. Inshallah. <laughs> People start flying and shit. Velasco <laughs> will just spawn. Olam <laughs> uh, said, "I'll take it because not everything is a conspiracy, and I'm trying to live a normal life again." Yeah, man. That's like kind of how I feel, you know. Yeah, same. So but what friends, is normal? We can't go. We're not going back to normal. You some know? some sense of normality in it. Someone said, "If you man take it, then I'll do it." No. <laughs> if you man go first, I'll do it. Oh, this one's funny. Uh, I used to do crack, so I like needles, but we move. Who's that? Who's that? Little boy, I think. Um, someone else said, wait for everyone else to take it, and if it seems safe, then I'll take it if needed. <laughs> someone said, I don't actually need it. <laughs> so they, I guess no, they're just built different. No, how are you going to tell if it's unsafe? Though? You can't. What news outlets is going to tell you that the vaccine is unsafe? Surely they're going to push that it is safe. Mm. That's like someone's going to take it and say, oh, my arm was dead for two days. So yeah. what, man? It's like all vaccines. All right, and the last question we had was, what superpower? So if on December 21st, when uh, your genetic code mutates, your DNA mutates, what superpower would you, would you like to have? First of all, what, what superpowers would you guys like to have? I'd probably say invisibility. Invisibility. What about you, Lionel? I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, probably. I, I can't lie. Invisibility is probably... You're like a perverts, fam. No, I just... No. Would, bro, I don't care about superpowers, yeah? yeah. I, I actually don't care. I just want to walk into the Buckingham Palace and see what's happening inside. <laughs> I just want to see for inside. that one reason. You want I just to be want invisible. to see inside, fam. What's or happening? like see like Nightcrawler. Yeah. Like when Nightcrawler, you could just be like, you can just think of a place and just spawn there. Yeah. I think I'll do that. I think yeah, be Nightcrawler. I think so, someone had or a mystique. Someone had a sick one. Yeah. They said um, they would teleport. So they said, imagine lunch breaks in Barbados. So that would like, be hard. That's you're hard. At work, that's you're just hard. chilling at work, and the next second you're in Barbados. I like have a pina colada, so <laughs> like, coconut or something. That is sick. That is sick. A lot of people said invisibility. Oh, this one came up a couple of times. Uh, the ability to stop time would be useful. Like, you know, like Bernard's watch. I don't know if you guys watched that as a kid. The fucking... Yeah, with a watch. Yeah, and yeah, he used yeah. to like stop time and yeah. like fuck about with the class yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I don't see like how it would affect. Stop time in it. Like, I don't know, you might be in trouble when you want to like... Duck stop out of trouble. Yeah. We'd or it might be... Invisible, that wouldn't happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you could use it to... Like, let's say you want to be an Olympic racer, innit? And you're not really racing then, are you? Yeah, but like you stop the time and then you run past everyone and they're like, oh shit, how do you get there? Do you know I imagine mean? he's dead and then everyone just run past him anyway. No, but like at, at the last point, you stop the time before, right before they reach you yeah? and then you run that's straight that's to the that's, finish that's, point. That's, 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 that's poor. Yeah, that's poor. I'll, I'll, I'll be okay with that. You make money, innit? Yeah, like you're a cheat anyway. Make money. That's true. Bro, brown men don't cheat. Huh? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. There's no one to cheat on in the first place. <laughs> Um, someone said Omnitrix From fucking Ben 10 fam You know like Ben 10 With the whole Like you slap the thing on you Is that the watch Is that the Yeah the watch? watch You can turn into a- Different aliens shot. and shit Yeah That's that's a decent shot It's a good one It's, it's a creative shot Some of them are kind of Clapped though I don't oh, know if I would No the aliens oh, From Ben 10 I will I'll, I'll, I'll never want to be Caught lucky Would you ever want to know Like say if there's aliens Would you ever want to know That there actually is aliens out there? Obviously Would you Would you, would you not Who would not want to know I don't believe there's aliens though and that's not, that wasn't the question though. No, but I'm saying. But would you would you want to know? I think there probably is. It's though. scary either way, isn't it? I mean, like, because imagine there's no aliens. I feel like you're just be, in the universe by yourself. It would be scarier. The fear of the unknown is more scary than anything real. It's true. Got knowledge, fam. Why don't you give me some? I got knowledge. quotables. Give me some knowledge. Get out of here. <laughs> um, this is a good one. The ability to heal yourself. The like Wolverine. Yeah. That's say uh, that's sick. But heal yourself mentally. That's sick. Yeah. Why not? I was, I was, I was going as a joke. Yeah, why not? Yeah, that's true. That's true. So what? You make jokes about mental health? Uh, yeah, I can't, I'm allowed to. Why? Because I got poor mental health. So 
That doesn't make sense. It's called coping mechanisms, bro. I'm joking. Like, you just turned into... I just, I tried to make you crumble, but it didn't uh, work. Control time, it would be lit. Imagine stopping time. I think like going back and forward in time would be pretty cool. Oh, yeah, it, going back only. Yeah, it would be confusing, though. Would you rather go to the future or go to the past? If you had to choose one. Past. Past. Because the future is... I, I want it to be unknown. Like, yeah. I don't want to know what's going to happen What would you change about the past? The past... If you had to choose one thing, do you know, do you, any period of time, like I put it, any do, period in time, any period of time. Do you ever yeah. think to yourself though, yeah? Imagine if you went to like back to when you were born, yeah, but with the con- with all the stuff that you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll be a quadrillion zillionaire. Do you know how mad that would be? Cause like, like in in in, let's say like 2008, yeah, you can be like Spain are gonna win the World Cup. Yeah, and, and put play, like some and put down, fat, yeah, yeah, like yeah. bet on it, and oh, then you can just think, oh, you can just like think of all like you can just the ideas, Amazon, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, for example, like oh, I don't know, like the idea for like iPhone, isn't it? Just think about yourself. Obviously, you, I don't know if you could pull that off in it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, let's say, I don't know, you learn how to code and you, you make Snapchat, Twitter, all that stuff yeah, yourself, yeah? yeah? You'd be caking by now, yeah. innit? Because you know all these ideas and you know what's going to work. Yeah. Well, like, I would think to myself, yeah, if my if I had my like knowledge now, yeah, I could go back to being a kid and just play football every day. And I think I would be quite good at football. Project Mbappe. Yeah, you know, yeah. for myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would you guys do if you were to go back in time? I would go back in time. And um, stop the colonial project. I think with things like that, yeah, is obviously the, again the fear of the unknown. Yeah, I feel like the world would be like Wakanda if Britain just stayed to Britain. Imagine if everyone just got along with each other. There's no beef. Yeah, but wouldn't you wouldn't you be worried that like by stopping once evil power, you made way for another evil power? That's something that could be worse. You get what I'm trying to say? Something that could be worse. Could be even worse. What's, 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 <laughs> I, I, I could, I could be I, like, I'm, I'm not trying to rub out What Britain did in it yeah? But what I'm trying to say is like I feel like playing with time like that Obviously time travel is not real But like if you, if it was And you were playing with time like that I feel like it's kind of scary You know Because yeah, bro, bro, That is the pinnacle of human Imagine like, you, imagine you think about it yeah? like, Let's say Let's say for argument's sake yeah, You went You were like I'm going to go back to the future I'm going to stop this one person from dying yeah, let's and say then end up killing like, and then like, because of that action, that one person went on to go kill like five million people or like, something like. One of the person was like someone who cured, cured, cured like I don't know. Yeah, COVID. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? That's I would worry about that if I was going back to the future to change big things. No, like I'm talking that. about that's that's not the future though. Now, past, right, past. if I go back to past and change yeah. big things like that, I'd be worried about that stuff. I think I I feel, I feel like the world would be a much better place. Could be it would probably I feel would like be. the map would be definitely the map would hundred to ten percent would definitely be uh, different. You know what I'm saying. What do you think, landlord? What would you if you went back to the past? What would I do? Would I where would you go? It doesn't have no, to. You, you, you don't have to do you, something mad. You can go somewhere. Um, I don't know, man. I go back to the time of the Prophet Muhammad. Jeez, oi! That was a bad boy. For a second, yeah, I bugged that. I thought you said I'm gonna fight him. I was like, Whoa. Nah, that is a bad. That is a bad boy answer. I can't like that's better than both our answers put together. That is a certy answer. So you just want you basically you just become the Sahaba. That's yeah, sick. Answer, I respect that for you, but I wouldn't. No, I can't lie. There's many answers though. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Say, oh, no, no, obviously. Different perspectives. Or, yeah. Like, instead of who do you want to be and what do you want to do, like I don't know, man. I think maybe a more a more religious me would say, yeah. I I want to know how, like how time like how they were living like back then. Like. I was thinking about this today, yeah. You know when you remember like the nineties or the early two thousands, yeah. Do you remember it with like a certain feel or like the that the world looked a bit different? No. I don't know how to explain it. Like you know how when you look at pictures of like the nineties and shit like that, when you were when you were like that vintage when you were you uh, and it had that yeah. vintage photo on yes, it kind of thing. Yeah, my memories kind of look like that. No, nah, my memories don't. Look they don't look like how clear things look. If that makes sense. No, no, no. I have very clear memories. No, I have I have clear memories of everything that happened. Yeah. But like they have a filter on them, like a grainy filter on it, no. like a picture. Because I that's so, you. I don't know. I don't know. Does anyone else not feel no, like that's that? That's you, bro. Like how far back can you m- remember? I can remember pretty far back, you know. I remember, I remember seeing the light when I was coming up my mom. <laughs> really? I'm joking. <laughs> my mom said, "Really?" No, but that's a real thing, you know. People can remember. Some people can remember from when they were in the womb. That's fucked. It's like a, it's like a condition that they can. Remember. I remember, like, swimming. actually, it may be because it was like I saw it in anime. I don't know if it's real. Nah, that's, of course it's fake. Could be real. Go on. What's the first thing you remember? Yeah, I remember swimming. In what? In the womb. Yeah, I, remember, I just see, the, I just see the light. It was literally like that. Seen the light. Shut up, man. Be serious. I'm joking. My earliest, me- my earliest memory. I remember my first birthday. Your first birthday. I remember my first birthday. That might be earlier than I remember. I remember my first birthday. I remember. I remember it was like in a little hall. Yeah, it could. It might have even been in the room, but it's, it looked so big. It looked like a hall to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I remember 
standing on the t- like for the table, yeah. like to cut the cake here yeah, in the front, like behind the table to cut the cake. And I was too short, so I remember <laughs> someone was putting like books or something like that, like, something to put underneath, underneath for yeah. me to stand on. Yeah, and I remember cutting the cake. Um. So all the all those people say like oh don't celebrate your one year's birthday they never remember no, it. I remember this that, is yeah. proof that but that's the only some thing, of them do remember. But it. that's the only thing I remember from that thing. That year, obviously, hopefully, like my cousins or something who's like listen to this can fact check me. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I I remember that. I remember from like when I was like two. Do you know I remember? So I imagine it like obviously. Wanking. <laughs> the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> no. <laughs> Like one cute little baby dick. What's wrong with you, fam? I'm talking about you. you yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you imagining that? I'm not imagining it. Oh, you're nasty, innit? Right. But what I remember, yeah, is like obviously pregnancy is not something that like Asian families talk about too much, innit? So when people are, when, like your mom's pregnant, like they're just like, oh, she's not well, she's like she's going to hospital and stuff, innit? So I imagine one day, like bare people in my house when I was like two years old, bare people in my house, and there's like a, there's, there's a baby in the corner. Everyone's just like paying bare attention to the baby, all that stuff, yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's a cute baby. Let me play with all my cousins and stuff, innit? I'm playing with my cousins, yeah, and it gets to like nighttime, yeah, and people are leaving, innit? Your cousin's and I'm, staying over. And I'm seeing this, this baby in the corner, I'm thinking, why is no one taking the baby? Yeah. Like, surely she needs to go home now. Like, <laughs> what's going on? Like, people are leaving. The last people leave, yeah, I'm like, mom, someone forgot their baby. <laughs> and she's like, no, this is your little sister. I'm like, what? where did she come from, fam? Let's <laughs> <laughs> talk, drop it off. What's, what's the age difference? Two years. Two years, two years. Two years. Do you know, that's, that's another thing, yeah. I made a TikTok about it. It got like, 30 k views, you know. Is it? Yeah. The, I so you know in year five you learn about like puberty and stuff in it, and they also teach you about like a little bit about like sex education in it. So I remember I, I think I asked my mom like oh, how the babies come by in it. What at five? No year five. Year yeah, so five. when I was ten like, ten years old, I was like oh that this auntie had a baby like how did she, how did Allah know that she's married like how does he know that it's the right time in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, you know, you just make dua for it. And when you make dua, then it, Allah puts it in your belly and you come to you in it. So I spent a very, very long time thinking, you just make dua for a baby in it. <laughs> uh, I get to school, yeah. And this is the thing, you know, in primary school, you have a lot of white friends in it. Yeah. And white friends, they, their parents tell them everything. Like, like, as soon as they're three years old, they're like, yeah, you fuck for babies. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so like, I'm, I'm like in sex education and the teacher goes, yeah, so the man and the woman have to like do it to... I think I'm like, nah, stop, that's haram. My parents will never do that. They're Muslim, they will never do that. And all these white kids are like, nah, nah, what are you talking about? Like, how do you think you were born? I'm like, they made dua for me. Allah gave them, gave them a baby, I'm the gift. And they're like, no, they're like, no, like, how do you think that happened? I was like, listen, maybe your maybe your parents did it, okay? Because they're white. I literally, I was, I was telling you what I was saying, because they're white, they did it. My parents don't do that stuff, okay? Don't say that about my parents again. <laughs> I was passionate fuck. about it, bro. Fuck. Although obviously, obviously, when you get to high school, it's like I didn't know till I got. What was your reaction when you found out, like raw? Like that, that's what it is. Yeah. I don't remember my reaction. I only remember that that instance. I was just like, I what think was the question again? Oh, your earliest memory? Yeah. <laughs> what was your earliest memory? I don't really got one. I can't lie. Actually, there's one, but I wasn't even that young. I was like three when my youngest was born. Yeah. Um, I was like three and a half. Yeah. And then. Um, I don't know, man. I remember seeing my mom in the hospital, and then there was a baby, in there, and then I asked, "What's the gender in it?" And the last girl, I was like, "What can you give it back?" <laughs> <laughs> That's all I remember. <laughs> I don't know, for a boy. I also, I didn't know. <laughs> 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 Just mad, yeah. Because I'm, I'm the only guy as well, yeah. I never did how mad like in year five and year four before I knew how how you have a baby in it. Yeah, yeah. I used to always sit in the car and be like, "Mom." Please, I want a brother. I want a brother. Yeah, now yeah. that I'm deep in it, yeah, I'm asking What am I asking yeah, exactly. it to do, Because <laughs> <laughs> at that time, I was just thinking, Mom, please make dua. <laughs> Allah will give you the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, that's mad. That's a fuck. Yeah. Nah, how many kids do you guys want? How many kids? I want three. Three. I want 11. Football team. All boys. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> 11 v 11 I want three Maybe boy girl Boy girl I must say three <laughs> yeah, Boy girl boy Sorry sorry Boy girl boy Sorry sorry I'm bugging Boy girl boy uh, Nah I think three is the optimum isn't it? Um, Boy 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 girl Yeah boy boy girl Is a good Good he wants uh, to, he, Basically you want to spoil, spoil, spoil the little girl in it I mean. <laughs> no, as in like obviously the girl is the youngest. You want to spoil like the 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 boy's protector and that stuff like. Yeah, the second boy is like, well, in it. I'm, I'm in the bitch house. Oh, oh shit, yeah. Same, same. Oh, we're in the same position. Yeah. yeah. 
But yeah. God, I can't relate. Man. Yeah, you're the oldest, isn't it? The oldest. It's, 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 it's tough being Ooh. It's tough being the middle boy You know Like being the only boy And being the middle child Because your middle child Is always Usually get ignored in it yeah. That's how it normally goes in it yeah. But when you're the boy Everything falls on your shoulder yeah. Yeah, You get in trouble for everything Do you know what I mean Being the oldest I have to pave the way For these youths fam Trust me But yeah man I don't know I f- For me personally I, w- I would like Three or four kids as well yeah Yeah three, three or four is, is But there's certain factors You have to think about yeah I have, You have to think about like, First of all your wife is the one that has, has to push them out in it. Yeah. So if she tells me two or one, like, what can I say? Yeah. There has to be only one or two in it. Like, yeah, it's what we want. You know yeah. What we the want. other thing is, yeah, bro, I'm not going to lie, I don't want a family car. Like, them, you know, the seven oh, yeah, seasons, yeah, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also want to adopt a child. Same, same. No, I actually want that. Like, by, by 30, I'm going to adopt, adopt a child. Whether what? I'm married or not, I'm going to adopt a child. Is it? Yeah. We're tough, though, you know? He's gonna, I was actually thinking 28 first. But no, you no. never know. I could do it by 28. I think, I think. God willing. Do you feel like that's. Kind of cruel to willingly bring someone into a single parent family. Bro, it's, it's bro, like I'm going to get like obviously God willing, like, I'm yeah. going to get married eventually. Like you know what I'm saying. But then, then you think she might feel some type of way. But it's not, it's not like a beat. So it's not like I'm a baby, but I'm not a baby daddy. Like you know what I'm saying. I'm a father, but I'm not. I'm not. But it's the same I'm thing. Not though. A baby father. Kind of the same thing though. It's not. You because you. I, was, I did, just didn't do the deed. Didn't you it? would see that as that's your your son or your daughter. That is my son. But yeah. it's, do you know what I'm saying. I don't care if you can't accept my son. You can you can yeah, bounce back. Ob- obviously, saying? but like. I feel a like son or daughter, whoever, cause right. for me personally, yeah, I feel like I would want that, but I would I don't want it to be a decision that I make with my wife. I wouldn't want to like make that decision and then have to like navigate afterwards. Yeah, you I, hate, what, you I, hate, I hate, but that's, if I want to do so, I'm doing it. You can have a you have a join the journey, or do you know what I'm saying? Catch your Uber back. That's so why you're gonna be single forever, you know. I don't I don't mind. I I I'll be instead of see let you see them cat ladies. I'll be I'll be that. But he's gonna be like, with, he's gonna be like kids. Madonna or Angelina Jolie, you know. No, I swear they adopted. They adopted bare kids from like Africa and Asia. That's sick. That's that, that's sick. I would I would do that, fam. I will I will do that. What would you do if you find that you were adopted? I kind of celebrate. I, la- yeah. I love it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll check it. Makes sense. I love <laughs> an identity crisis. Yeah, I would actually would, I would seek know. I would seek to know like your biological family yeah. and history. Well, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to. I would just want to know who they are. Yeah. And then I'll just cut. Cause that's I, for the sake of knowing Because at that point At this point Like you're ingrained In your family Yeah. So like it doesn't matter to, Other than the initial shock Yeah. It doesn't matter too I don't tough. care Like if you didn't raise me fam, I, yeah. what, what what relationship why, why are we rebuilding Yeah And like even yeah. if like Your parents turned around And said you adopted Yeah They still raised you They put in their work yeah, Exactly yeah. Would you What age would you tell your kids That they What if they, if they If you did Adopt you know, a kid yeah. I'm not gonna lie I would wanna tell them I would wanna make be very open About it from the beginning well, you just, the only way you can do that is by adopting like a white or black child. Yeah, well, but wouldn't you feel like they will have an identity crisis? Like, from, no, but early? I think I think having a sh- like being shocked about something is more of a like getting a sudden shock yeah. is m- pr- probably more risky. They'll go through a phase where they're like, "What can I trust? Yeah, yeah. I didn't really trust you and stuff." Like, obviously, uh, it's hard for us to say because we're not parents, first yeah. of all. And when you're adopting, you probably look more into it, and like there'll be experts that tell you whether yeah, you yeah, should yeah. tell them. For, but I feel like. From what I've seen, I feel like it might be better to tell them from the beginning, no? What do you think, Arnold? What's the beginning, though? Like, like I would just be open, like, you're my adopted kid. Now, what age, though? Like, from the beginning. Like, so, what, what, like, so like, when, you, when you're sleeping, you'll be like, yeah, you're adopted. I, I, that's, that's one of the scenes in Modern Family, yeah? Is it? Where, like, they, they, two, two gay, gay guys adopted a, a girl from uh, Singapore, I think. Mm. No, Vietnam, sorry. They have this one episode where whenever they say the word adopted, they're like, Say it in like a positive way Obviously it's a joke yeah, isn't it Yeah yeah but Like I think I would take that that's, like, a, that's a good thing though Yeah I would take that No but they made a joke out of it It's funny It's okay, funny yeah, it? When yeah. you watch the episode You'll see But like I think I would try and be open Like you're adopted And it's not a bad thing And yeah. I, I love you Because I chose you yeah, yeah, Not like yeah. these other kids I had to just <laughs> Put up with Scar off <laughs> yeah. yeah You know I love I love you even more When <laughs> I'm joking I'm joking you, you The kids wa- are gonna li- Listen to this And be like This, this yeah, bastard uh, uh, no, <laughs> 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 But yeah, you'd just be like them, you know. I chose you, and I hope you appreciate that. And I'll always look after you, and that's yeah, it. Yeah. Do you think you'd be a good dad? I, I, I like to think so. Yeah. Do you know what like, kind of dad do you think you? Do you sometimes think to yourself like you know the whole like good cop bad cop thing? Yeah, yeah. I'd want. I, sometimes I feel like I would want my wife to be the bad cop in it. Why can't I? The wife's usually the bad cop. Yeah, know? but at the same time, I feel like I would, I would, I would look at myself, why my my wife differently if she was a bad cop. I feel like why are you treat our kids like that kind of thing. Not like bad cop, but she would yeah, be like yeah, more stricter. Yeah, more strict than us. Me, sorry. Yeah. 
What do you, no, what do you, what do you what, think? What, what do you think? What do you mean? You think this is three men and a baby, yeah? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? No, no, come on. It's, it's, it's a very, it's, it's a... Serious. It's, it's a given answer. Like, what, what kind of dad do you think I'll be? Yeah. I'll be... No, no, so I'm asking you. I think you... I've seen you angry sometimes, you know? Yeah, but that's... I'm not a kid. I don't know. I think... Because I, 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 I think for me personally, yeah? Uh, when have you seen me angry? No, not with kids. Just like in general. And the thing... Is, what? With... Yeah. No, it's... And the, the thing, the, <laughs> <laughs> the thing is as well, yeah. Like, because I've worked with kids for quite a few years, isn't it? Like, you go in thinking, yeah, I'm bare, like patient and stuff, yeah. But there are some days where they wear down your patience. No, no, no. I'm, you know, I'll, I'll you know what I mean? Like, I have no patience. But you know what I mean? Like, I, I, they wear down your patience. Sometimes you just like, shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, you don't say that, but like, you even see me around kids. I'm sick. I'm nah, not saying nah, I'm not nah. saying this to like, nah, but anyone that knows, man. No, nah, I think I've like, I've seen you and kids. My like my aunt and that they all nah, be like, oh yeah, I, the kids. I think I think like you would be like you be a f- uh, like fun, but then sometimes you might snap. No, nah, I would have snap. I've never not a kids. Not a kids. No, nah, but there's a difference between kids and your kids. No, nah, no. Nah, you know what I mean? Yeah, that would be even worse. I would never snap on my kids. What do you think, Arnold? No, 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 no. What kind of dad do you think? When, when, when man becomes an uncle, yeah. like, do you know what I'm saying? With, like, you man's kids. Uncle's different, say, isn't no, it? But I like uncle's different because they, no, they, they, they don't have to deal with the kid every day. Like once, yeah. w- 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 like after all the fun is, yeah, is happen, fun and games, yeah, you go home, the kid's yeah, not true. with you anymore. Yeah, because sometimes, yeah, like kids can be bright, you know. I'm, I'm, could be what? I'm making myself seem like I'm going to be a bad dad, yeah, but I, well, I actually think I'm going to be a sick dad. Yeah, same. I think I've learned from my parents. Like I'll take I'll take the good and I'll take the the bad yeah. and make sure I don't do the bad and make sure I do the good. So I think I'm gonna be sick. But I think at the same time it's it's hard to judge because first of all we're not parents and I feel like circumstances can change in it. Like I feel like I was more easygoing before than I am now. Like just over the years you get a bit more yeah. you lose patience with things in it. Not saying I would lose I don't want to lose patience with my kids. I would hope to teach them that anger is never the solution to issues in it. But yeah, well, I actually currently told my cousin she got married and that yeah. she'll try to have kids soon and that. And I told her that as soon as your you is born, but yeah. before your girl fam, yeah. I am going to corrupt your child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lando, what kind of dad do you think you'll be? Um, I think I'll be like a cool dad, I can't know. Like if the freedom is there, I like to take my children into sports and Oh yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. I was, I'm gonna take my kids. I'm gonna train my kids uh, combat sports. Yeah, very early, from combat. very early. To be honest, yeah, I wish if I could go same, back, same. learn it from early. Yeah, yeah. Actually, like, same. Serious. Not even, not even to like to compete. Just like, like you know how powerful it is to know how yeah. to have self defense. Yeah, yeah. Look after yourself. Definitely, no my correctly. definitely my daughters. My daughters will definitely need to learn self defense and stuff like that. Cause man and mother are crazy, isn't it? Why don't you teach your son how to? Huh? Do are you stupid, I'm yeah? Do you know, listen, I, listen to that logic, what? yeah? No, 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 no. Let me, let me, you know why I said let, that, let me quickly though. Explain no, no, stop, stop, stop. Let me quickly, no, no, please, stop, please, stop. please, let me, let me. You let, know why I said let, that. Let me explain that, You yeah? know, no, let me explain. you know why I said that. Yeah, but let me explain why it's a dumb point. Do you know, okay, why did I say that? Do you know why I said that? Because you're taking piss out of it. But let me, let me explain. No, I'm not. No, I'm taking a piece of the tweets that I see online. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. You're taking a piece okay. of people. Let me that was t- not my view. Let me explain why that's dumb, though, yeah? When people say, why don't you teach your son to be better instead of teaching your daughter to protect herself, yeah? Is my son going to move to my daughter? Yeah, exactly, yeah, huh? yeah. I, I don't trust that other parents are teaching their sons the right thing, yeah? yeah. So why am I going to... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah of yeah. course I'm going to teach my son to do the right thing, yeah? But personally, for me, my I son is not going to move to my daughter. That's it's, I hope not, because... That's, that's nuts. What, that's crazy. Maybe adopted son. <laughs> 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 that's what you got to put him back on. Like, <laughs> you got oh, you to keep the reef on the time it. But the subscription has failed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's that's why I find that point so dumb, yeah. Because that's, like, that's why I don't have Twitter, you know. Because all these dickheads have a platform to chat shit, fam. Because what's know, wrong I, with teaching your daughter self defense? I get it. Like obviously they're saying like, oh, women shouldn't have to feel unsafe, yeah. But the reality but that's is the li- that's the life. That's that we the reality, live. innit? That's the reality that your your daughter is gonna unfortunately is gonna face some unwanted attention from people. She's gonna know how to. She's gonna, my daughter's gonna know how to bang them up. Do you know what I mean? Never come up with that. I don't. I hate when people come up with that counter argument. Like, why don't you teach your son to do the right thing? My son will do the right thing, but my son is not moving to my daughter. Yeah, fucking Lannisters. Not lying. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are. Oh, would you guys say that you're excited for fatherhood? Not now, but hundred percent, hundred percent. Even if it happened now, I'd be excited. 
obviously I would look at look at myself like my finances. I'm not yeah. not at all, but like can you ever be ready? I feel like you can. It's like it's like one of them things where you learn on the job, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like, but then that's that I feel like that's when you know we're talking about beings before, yeah. I feel like that's where beings came from because they wanted a quick fix to shut you up or stop stop that behavior from happening again. And the beating is the quick fix, whereas there's other ways to like pan your kid. Yeah, because I can't lie. It fixed me, but to a certain extent. But it fixed you like short term for them. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. it fixes I, you in front of them. Yeah. But yeah. then on the it side. Just, it just made me more like, more like cunning, like more like yeah. sly. And also the other thing is like, it, like if you beat your kids, yeah, it teaches them that whenever there's an issue, beat the shit out of it yeah, yeah. or like get angry at it or like respond to it with violence yeah. whereas obviously you don't want you don't want that response in it yeah oh yeah man I'm excited for fatherhood man. I'm very so excited come, maybe four or five years you might see me with an adopted kid if, I, if I'm not married by now <laughs> what, you want, how many adopted kids you want how many just biological? one and so if I want like obviously if I freeze the idol yeah. obviously one adopted and two biological you know what I'm saying would you adopt a child probably not it's not a thing. Like, obviously, it's not. It's not a must. Like, yeah. You know I'm saying, but it's just I, one of those I think, life. I think personally, it's, it's a huge thing. It's it a is, it you need huge. to have your, with your wife after you get married. In my yeah, opinion, yeah, yeah. It's huge, and I obviously, mean. it's like the roller of adoption, like the topic of ado- adoption and that. Yeah, it's not a hot, it's not an easy conversation. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Surely, it depends on like the, the order as well. Like, if I was to have a boy and then a girl, yeah, and I'd kind of be open to you know, an adoption for a third child. Yeah, and imagine having like two girls and you want a son. Like, yeah. you your own biological son. Yeah, yeah. I heard that. But yeah, like we, t- t- we touched on like f- like five, six different topics, fam. It's good though. But yeah, hope you but guys yeah. enjoyed this episode. Main takeaway is to please, please look after your mental health as well as your physical health. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of your opinions and takes. Yeah. Um, we will have a we will have a question. What's the question for? Uh, Can anyone think of any questions? Oh, just you know what? Yeah. We'll we'll come up with a question. So look out for it during the week because it's not like they're going to answer it from the end of this podcast anyway. Yeah. They're going to answer it on the Instagram. Yeah. So we'll come up with a couple of questions. Um, yeah, if you want... Funny- please subscribe to the YouTube, please. I know there's no content there, but there will be by the time this episode is released. Yeah. Please, please. Thank you. Was that it? Uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye.